Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll. Hannah's in the hot seat today. She's upstairs. We've also got our lovely Jo. So don't panic. There is a Wilcox in the building. It means we're going to have a good day. Um, I, I, despite what is going on outside, it is disgusting, isn't it? It's just so wet and horrible. I had to pull out my raincoat this morning because it's still just so warm, isn't it? It's like that. Oh, although I must say, I don't like thunder and lightning at all, but it's been quite spectacular, hasn't it? I don't know about where you live, but the thunder and lightning, as long as you stay safe in it, it's been quite dramatic, hasn't it? Like theatrical, it's amazing. I've seen some gorgeous photographs uh, that people have taken. I can't, but I, I, I just like sort of seeing it, but um seen some fantastic photographs. Hannah said, it's all right as long as you, your house doesn't, um, yeah, Hannah's saying all the gardens. She says all of the, the front doors, there's water started seeping in. You've got to be ever so careful. She says, I've put a tea towel there and I've just moved on. <gasps> Right, anyway, there's the weather forecast, as always. Talking about the weather, the early bird. Da, 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 da. Well, you can't have a rainbow without a bit of rain. I love that saying. So, we've got a rainbow colour me in panel. This isn't just what you get, though. It's this, this, and this. It's a big panel. All of the weather. The thunderstorm, the sun. The clouds, it's a bit like our weather, isn't it, at the minute? It's meant to get sunny, I think, uh, again next week. And so this is basically this week's weather forecast. We've had everything, all the elements. Uh, so you've got your beautiful Colour Me In panel. Now, I saw somebody on the Facebook fan page, it won Make of the Week a few weeks ago, um, appliqueing this rainbow on the back of a denim jacket. And it looked amazing. It looks so, so good. So now if you've got your Colour Me In panel, you need some fabric markers to colour it in. We've got, oh no, we nearly had them all over the, yeah, we've got them all over the desk. We've got all of these markers as well to get colouring. You've got greens, yellows, pinks, blues. And what I like about these is that you've got a thick nib on the one side and a thin nib on the other. I've done it the other way around, but, oops, I've just put hand cream on my hands literally about a minute and a half before we came to air. I thought, oh, I'll just put a bit of hand cream on, feeling a bit dry. So you've got the, the, um, the thicker nib here and the thinner nib on the end. So if you're doing some really intricate colouring in, intricate marking, then that's going to be very, very useful. And that comes from our fine art degree, Master Hannah. Our producer, Hannah, she's got a fine art degree and she says that it's, it does make a difference to have a good nib, good strong nib, she says on these. Now, to make them colour fast and to make it sort of permanent, you just give it a press with an iron. So you leave it to completely dry for six hours, press it with an iron and then you can put it in the washing machine. So if you are putting it onto clothes or if you are making them into tote bags or cushions or wall hangings or tablecloths or placemats, I think this is a great one to get children involved as well. Uh, Colouring for everybody. I know that you find it quite relaxing, don't you, Joe, doing some colouring in? He's got an app on his iPad that he does um, does it. But I, there's nothing better, I think, than, than actually colouring in, Joe, instead of virtual. Uh, £15.98, saving £4. It is today's early bird. Now, those of you that are new to us, if you set your alarm every morning at 8 o'clock, then you will see uh, a product that's been discounted in some way. So it could be a brand new, it could be a new bundle, it could be something that's uh, one of your favourites, one of ours. This is something that we constantly are getting more and more requests for. It's an exclusive panel to us. And especially as, of course, we're seeing so many rainbows still all over our community. It's gorgeous. There was a double rainbow over Hannah's house the other day. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful, isn't it? I saw somebody else make um, like a, you know those, like a bag very similar to Kerry's Living in Loveliness bag actually, using, um, using their panel. Stay tuned for that coming up in the next hour. The lovely little storage boxes and the bags from Kerry, Living in Loveliness. She came in yesterday afternoon to film this demo. So we've fast-tracked it through and been able to bring it to you today. So stay tuned for that. Now, that's your early bird. I'll keep you updated on stock, but always very, very popular whenever we bring anything rainbow-esque in. So, last time I was with you on Saturday, it was absolutely amazing. It was National Sewing Machine Day, and we had a whole weekend dedicated to it with some of, actually, no, scrap that, 
the best bundles we've ever done. Uh, the best savings we've ever done on Sewing Street. And right, so what happened was we had a lot that we bundled with lots of freebies. We had the uh, embroidery machine that had a big discount that completely sold out. There were lots of machine bundles that sold out. Now, my favorite machine and the one that I will always recommend to you, you know I talk about it a lot and I mentioned it um, on Saturday, we were talking through it and it came with the best bundle ever. Um, it, it sold out. Now, the reason it sold out was because one of the items in the freebie bundle had gone. Now, we had loads of messages coming in that they, people had missed out on it. So, now you can thank Hannah for this. Um, Hannah has talked with management and begged and pleaded for today, for five, five more people, for anybody that missed the 680 bundle, the Millwood Ruler Rack is now back in stock and that was the reason that the bundle sort of sold out was because that was out of stock. There was only a certain amount of bundles that we could put together. It seemed unfair that people would have missed out just because of the Ruler Rack. So, if you have been emailing asking about this bundle, I know I said, and it was only supposed to be for the weekend, take advantage of that deal because it's now back in stock. So I'm gonna talk more about it at 10 o'clock, but I just wanted to let everybody know right from the word go that this is available so you can have a bit of a think about it uh, and recoup, be back with us at 10 o'clock if you do wanna go and have a look at, at prices. Bearing in mind, this is exclusive to us here in the UK, the machine anyway. There's no need for us to bundle it with so many goodies. Just to remind you, um, the goodies that you get, fat quarter packs, there's loads of fabric. Can we see the picture again, Joe? The um, ruler rack that I was saying, there was panels in there, the one that we just saw in the early bird, there's wadding in there, there's fabric markers, there's a creative grid ruler, the rainbow panel, the colour me in panel, there's so much that you get, it's actually over £90 worth of goodies, there's only five available, obviously it has to go back to normal price and... Um, yeah, the, all the other machines now are, are back to normal price, but I can understand your frustration because they went um, very, very quickly, all because of a ruler rack. So we got them in stock yesterday. Hannah spotted the ruler rack, came back in stock and said, please, just for this this morning, as I know we were all together and we saw a lot of people messaging in about it. So I really hope if that was your dream machine and, you know, all the stars were aligned and then the ruler rack went out of stock, you'd be a bit miffed, wouldn't you? So hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll be able to make the most of that now. So, should we have a look at what else is coming up today? I did briefly mention that um, coming up we've got Kerry, but before that we've got beautiful bundles. Have you spotted on the front of the desk? We've been um, getting a bit creative with some fern trees or Christmas trees. Uh, that's coming up this first hour. At uh, nine o'clock we've got fabulous, fat, the fast, fat quarter fun. Woo! That's a mouthful at eight o'clock, isn't it? Um, with lovely Kerry from Living in Loveliness. That's at nine o'clock. At 10 o'clock, yeah, I'll talk more about the 680. Um, we've got some brilliant, brilliant, brilliant um, deals coming up. So stay tuned, including, as I say, that one that was over 90 pounds of goodies back in stock, 10 o'clock. Uh, and then 11 and 12 o'clock, you can watch yesterday's repeat, which I believe was lovely Debbie. Um, Debbie was on yesterday. If you missed the show, then you can recap. Oh, the door stops with Wendy Orlando. They're amazing. They were really, really nice. You've probably seen them dotted around the set. Um, they're available as well. If you do want to get in touch with us today, please do. Please, please do. If you've got the 680, let us know. Uh, studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com is our in-house email address. So that will go straight through to my producer, Hannah, upstairs. Any photographs or just want to come and say hello. Let us know what you're up to. It's miserable and rainy out there. Maybe you're just waking up with us. Put the kettle on. Enjoy a cup of, a nice cup of tea in the cosy. I, I love being warm and cosy when it's so rainy outside. Although, must tell you a quick story. I went out. It's very quick. I went out for... Um, I'm starting to, to try and jog round. We've got a, a, a race course, race track round near me. So I thought, right, I'm going to start trying to jog round. And the heavens opened. It was the... I've never seen ever, I've never ever stood in such torrential rain because you normally would get undercover or you'd have a brolly or you'd just stay inside. Whereas I was full on like wringing out my top and my trainers still haven't got dry. It was, oh my word, horrendous. The man round the racetrack was laughing at me. He was in a truck doing some work because he says, your makeup, I came off air on Saturday and just went straight for a run and all my makeup was literally all running down my face. So don't go for a run. Don't go for a run. Stay in, stay in. Right, shall we have a look at some fabric bundles? 
<gasps> There's a lot. I don't know if you've noticed. There is a lot. We're going to start with some of the new ones. Oh my word, I absolutely adore these. I've got this one um, with the Geisha Girls. It's so pretty. And... It's also teamed with the dragon fabric and this really lovely magenta sort of purple, which I wouldn't necessarily think of putting it with it. And it works really, really well. It complements the lovely corals that are in here and the gold. And it's not like a metallic gold. It's a printed sort of gold. £12.99. How cute is this? with your lovely fans and flowers. It's really, really different from every, anything else that we've got. Let me open this one out so you can see that gold print and the repeat on it. So this is a slightly lighter weight cotton. This is more of your poplin weight. It's Rose and Hubble and it is beautiful. Half a metre of this is 112 wide. £12.99 and you get half a metre of this you also get half a metre of the Geisha Girls, but how beautiful is that? The detail's great, isn't it? And would you say there was a direction to it? Have I got it upside down? I think they're just all, all over the plop, aren't they? All over the plop, all over the place. <laughs> oh dear. It's still, it's, it's still early. Let's start again. <laughs> Good morning. Right, how about the Geisha Girls? This is so pretty. Again, that lovely poplin weight. It's absolutely fine to mix it with your quilting weight fabrics as well. It's just so you're aware it's lighter weight. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? I think of a little bag. These would be so lovely as purses or a laptop case, or uh, you could make like little glasses cases, little gifts for people. When I say, Poplin, it's still 100% cotton. Um, poplin is the way that it's woven. So it's a li it's slightly lighter weight than your quilting weight. Oh, my tree. Um, it's slightly lighter weight than your quilting weight cotton, but it's still, oh my word, it's so beautifully soft. It's gorgeous to quilt with as well. But I'm just thinking for bag making or purses, it's ideal. Even if you, you know, a lining in a bag, it would be beautiful. I'm a big fan of a fancy lining. Um, it's, it is a sign of quite sort of prestige, isn't it? When you open up a jacket or something, it's got lovely lining or a bag and it's got really nice lining. And then it also comes with that beautiful magenta, especially when you're making your own bits and bobs. Um, it's quite easy to sort of go, oh, well, it's inside the bag. I don't need to worry so much about that. But then when you show somebody, it's absolutely, it makes such a difference to be able to have that beautiful lining. That's what I love about Kerry as well, is that she always gives you fancy fabrics, even for the linings. Um, so I love that. That's The popular way would be ideal, actually, for little sleeves or cuffs or pockets, just as a little um, peep, peepo. Do you know what I mean? No. Peekaboo pockets. Okay, so that one is brand new, brand new bundle. The Geisha Girls is brand new fabric, so a new bundle put together. The other brand new bundle that we've got is, is it one of the Sweet Pea ones? So we've seen the fabric before, we've not bundled it. And see, I always think that if you can bundle it with a solid, it makes your pattern go that bit further. And also it it's not as, if you're thinking, right, that is a bit too bold for me to do all in one, whereas actually if you just take snippets of this, it goes beautifully with these. And I would struggle, if I'm honest, going through the web shop, seeing pictures and thinking, right, what green do I need to go with that? Because we've got so many different shades of green. Or what shade of pink do I need to go with it? Whereas our team of experts have already done that for you. We've got everything here as well, so our team will play around of what works and you know what colours go together. And this is absolutely ideal, because it really draws on this beautiful, almost like a coral pink. What colour is that, just out of curiosity? Do you know, Hannah? I wonder what the breakdown is. Just in case you're thinking, right, I love this and I want to get more of these colours on the website to do, you know, a quilt uh, or something um, something bigger, because you get half a metre of each of these prints already pre-cut, ready to go. So that's called Bright Pink on the website. This one's called Chartreuse. And then this one's your lovely Sweet Peas in Violet. When you click on the bundles on the web, if you scroll down, then additional um, additional information, it's, it does say the different colours. So just so you know in future, if you're thinking, oh, I want to buy more of one of the fabrics, 
then um, then yeah, have a look at the additional information. It will give you the breakdown of the names of them. Let me open this out just so you can see the sweet pea fabric. We were saying we were in debate, weren't we? Is it sweet peas or are they pansies? I think they're so pretty. I think they're pansies. Eleven pounds ninety nine and a half meter. That's one and a half meters. Beautiful flowers for just eleven pounds ninety nine. So that's another brand new bundle. Now I'm, I'm not going to hang around on all of these because we've got loads. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a lot on the desk today. So we'll, we'll keep going through. But if you do want me to see it, sh show any closer, then let me know. Who wants Moda? We've got a Moda up next. I've got Blush, Crimson and Beautiful Moda. Oh no, I don't want to offend anybody if I um, try and pronounce it. Um, to my left. To your left. £13.99 with this lovely pink and red. See, that again, the, the team have done an amazing job of complementing it perfectly together. That is one of my favourite bundles. That is beautiful. Uh, I tell you what, that is beautiful for, I'm thinking things for your boudoir, cushions. It instantly, when you've got cushions like this in a bedroom, it instantly changes it to a boudoir, doesn't it? It's next level. Or whether you're doing little storage boxes for um, bits and bobs in your, in, your, uh, in your guest bedroom or in your bedroom or living room, conservatories or workspace. How gorgeous is that? £13.99, half a metre of this gorgeous Moda print. And then you've also got the two rows and Hubble solids. But I love... It's the first time I've seen this. Where, where's this coming? Oh, that is beautiful. So this only launched last week. Hannah's not seen it either. Neither of us have been in. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, Joe. Okay, Joe. Pipe down. He's like, well, I've seen it. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? That looks so beautiful. £13.99, you're getting half a metre of your designer, gorgeous cotton fabric, plus then your two complementary Rose and Hubble solids. They go beautifully, absolutely beautifully. Um, okay, that's the first time I've seen that. It's already selling very, very quickly. Be aware, it's the first time we bundled it. It means it goes a bit further, doesn't it? This is, uh, of course, when you're looking at designer fabric like Moda, to be able to have the complementary solids that do just absolutely go perfectly with it, makes that go further. Okay. Let's do the hens. Hens, 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 hens. Let me move this one. I've got it. Um, this is with... Is it with the blue as well? This is nice. We did, what did we make with this? I know Debbie's made some things, hasn't she? She loves these. It's almost like your, um, your, your country kitchen, isn't it? Your hens, your lovely hens. You've got a uh, half a metre of your hen print. You could fussy cut these, don't you? You could, uh, you, you could fussy cut these and applique them onto things. What was that, sorry, Hannah? Ah, oh, she says, I like that they look like they've all got texture because they've all got different prints on their bodies. Oh, little personalities. You can imagine them all talking to each other, can't you? So you get your half a metre of your hens. You also then get beige and then you get white spot on Copen. £11.99 for all three of your lovely fabric. See, that is a really nice combination again with the cope and blue, isn't it? I am thinking for things for your kitchen, they'd be absolutely beautiful. What do I make like a basket that you keep your eggs in? I am, um, uh, those of you that I've asked in the past to um, help me with cooking eggs, sorted it. Sorted it. I've absolutely cracked it, pardon the pun. Um, right, what one, sorry? Okay. You've spotted, um, you've spotted under here. Now, one of the fabrics we've taken out so you can see here. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh, very carefully spin this around. Ooh. It's folded in half, isn't it? Half a metre of each of your fabric. So you're getting half a metre of that lovely turquoise which is that lovely blue, which I think will be really nice as a background, like you can see here, as a sky. Now, we're just giving you a little bit of an idea of what you can do. By all means, this is a, such a great uh, sort of core colours to have in your stash anyway. We're doing a bit of an applique uh, table runner. It could be like one of those draft uh, excluders. You could have it as a Christmas sort of Ban uh, I'm thinking like a garland almost that goes over your fireplace. Or, you know, you can have all sorts of... I just, it could just be cushions. I just like them all in a line. They look lovely all in a line. Even if it's not Christmas, you could applique animals on there. You could just have it as sort of like a fern, couldn't you? They look so lovely. So I'll talk you through how this is really, really achievable. Um, have a look at just these three. There you go really achievable even though it was a long bolster cushion and then you can put buttons you could embellish with bells stitch on by all means if you're you know I've seen lots of patterns out there as well that you could actually turn this into a full pieced sort of quilt you you could just piece it on with loads of different trees on um or applique it Imagine with a big bear or with, um, you could also do some like embroidery, couldn't you? You could embroider on top of them. It would look gorgeous going on a bear hunt. Um, so for £12.99, you're getting half a metre of this lovely light green. You're also getting half a metre of your chartreuse, half a metre of this colourway, um, which is like your fern green. And then you also get half a metre of this lovely blue. Now, the way that we've done this just very, very quickly is using the stripology and using the 60 degrees triangle, 60 degree triangle, which looks like that. And it's so quick and so easy. We literally did this just before the show. You can continue to uh, cut strips for your background if you want to piece the whole thing. But didn't want to do that because I didn't know what sure what project you wanted to do. And it's just nice to be able to just do it very, very quickly, all different levels. Applique is always great fun. Whether you're an embroiderer, you can applique it on and it embroider. Um, you can start to use some of your patchwork tools. Now, you know how much I love this ruler because I did the demo of the, the magic lantern quilt. You've seen John Con Morgan using this ruler loads and loads and loads to do some great uh, blocks like this, very similar. You could do borders. It's a very, very versatile ruler. Um, there's a QR code that gives you lots of great demonstrations. Not only does it cut your triangles, but you can also create some really, really cool blocks with it. So, can't recommend this ruler enough. It's from Creative Grids, which I'm a huge advocate of. One, because of their safety, they've got all of these non-slip grips on, but also because of their precision and accuracy, they kind of take all the maths out for you. So, uh, firstly, as I say, I used the, the stripology. Um, I'm going to move the, the trees just out the way slightly. You can use any stripology, whether it be the XL, whether it even be um, the, the squared or the original one, it's up to you. Basically, you need strips of fabric. Now, I've got two and a half inch. You, you don't need to necessarily use two and a half inch strips. I'm just thinking if you've got any of the panels or any of the jenny rolls or design rolls, or if you've got, um, different fabrics that you want to cut in different size strips. You can just do it with your ruler. I find it really, really handy and easy with the uh, the stripology because you can very, very, very quickly and very precisely cut whatever strips you want, whatever size strip you want. And with this ruler as well, you can also square up your block. So this one's got four full inch in black and then half inch in white as well through the center. I think you can just about see that on the camera. It's a 12, you can cut up to 12 and a half inch strips. So there's a key at the bottom, which will uh, give you stars and squares. So you can cut one and a half without doing the maths or without having to, you know, reposition your fabrics or reposition your ruler. It's that quick and simple. Like I said, with the other uh, ruler, they've got the non-slip grips between each and every one of these grooves. Now these are little slits that you, you put your rotary cutter in to cut the strips. So if you do want to do, um, say, two and a half inch strips, that's what I've cut here. 
fold your fabric with the fold at the bottom, line it up on zero, always start with zero, straighten up your edge. And then I've cut across every square because I wanted two and a half inch strips. So I've gone square, 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 square really quickly and really easily. Um, that is available, this is the Stripology Squared for $44.99. However you want to do it, you need to cut strips. I find Stripology the easiest way of doing it. Um, and then I've got my rotating cutting mat, which is again, not, necessary, not necessarily a necessity, but again, very helpful. And you'll start to find that if you find yourself putting your body in a bit of a strange position like this or like this to try and avoid you from cutting towards yourself, which is what I was seeing Hannah doing this morning. I said, Han, get the rotating cutting mat out. We've got all of these goodies here. You don't need to do all these weird stretches in the morning. Um, uh, and she also did ambidextrous, cutting with one side, swapping hands and cutting with the other hand. So anyway, this is really useful for that. So I've got a two and a half inch strip which I'm going to, to lay out onto my cutting mat. This is from the bundle. This is from um, the green bundle. What I love about this bundle is that you are getting such a lovely selection of colour and the blue. Boop. So you're getting all these colours plus the blue, half a metre. You get enough in the bundle to be able to do, oh, well, loads, background. You could do loads of trees with this, with this technique. £12.99, absolutely go for it. And then if you've got any buttons or if you've got, you could do like when you've appliqued it on, like a satin stitch around it and it would almost look like a, a fuzzy tree, you know what I mean, like the spindles on a tree. So with your two and a half inch strip, um, I've put the little dog ear, it's cut the dog ear off the top, so you've got that bit missing. So I've just lined that up with the top of my strip and I'm just gonna cut she says, um, I'm just going to cut my triangle for the top of the tree. And this is why I say the rotating cutting mat is handy because you can just spin it around without actually moving your fabric or your, your, your body, <laughs> your ruler. It'll be there. So that's my first one. To be fair, after that, you don't necessarily even need to use the rotating cutting mat, but it's so handy just to have in your stash for loads. If you would prefer, it's there. So I'm just going to go in with the creative grid ruler. As long as the base of the shapes that you're making is getting bigger, then you can mix and match them. You could do like ombre trees, doesn't matter. If you're piecing the back as well, you do need to be a bit more precise and work out your measurements so it all sort of works together. But we're just going for it. I've just lined it up with the four. Make them more wild if you're going for a plique. Great thing about Creative Grid, saying I can just turn it upside down now. So I've gone from four, I'm now gonna go up to number five. Nice little fun project, isn't it? Really easy. I'm gonna go to, again to number six. You could do smaller ones and do like a long draft excluder, couldn't you? So then what I would do, have I got these in the right order? There you go. One, two, three, four. You could make really long trees. You could keep them going. You can mix the colours together. So you could do like ombre, well, this isn't very ombre. In fact, let me do it as an ombre. Ombre, ombre, ombre. Could just be like those three, couldn't they? Or you blue. Uh, I want to do almost like, oh, I don't know. But you have a bit of a play around because you've got all of those different colors. Um, just those three would look nice as well. They're, I really like the colours together, very, very useful colours. So then you could literally just stitch these together into pairs using your quarter of an inch, of course, make sure your little um, dog ears are hanging off each end and stitch them, press them. Bonder web then, using your bonder web, great to have a big roll because once you start appliqueing, you will get very, very addicted to it. It is really useful to be able to have a, a nice big roll of Bonda web. You get five meters on there. So on um, this side, you can see it's quite a matte finish. On the other side, it's got that shiny side, which is the glue. So all you would do is then um, 
obviously put it onto your fabric, put it onto your block, uh, iron it on, cut round, cut round all of your tree and then press it onto the fabric, your background fabric that you want to. And you will need to stitch round. Depends on whether you, you know, you're using it as a wall hanging or how long you want it to last. It isn't completely permanent. So if you are going to be using it as a cushion or if it's going to be going into the wash or if you're using it on a bag or on a jacket or something, then yeah, definitely go round with your sewing machine. And there's so many applique stitches on, on most of the machines, especially the Arnold that we're going to be talking about at 10 o'clock. Satin stitches, you could do like a blanket stitch. You could even do, um, you could do like a, a contrasting colour. I'm thinking you could change colour with it. You could do like a variegated thread, couldn't you? You could always stitch through it with one of your fancy stitches, couldn't you? What about a metallic thread? You could do a little tree on every gift bag, couldn't you? See, I'm talking now, I'm getting a bit excited about Christmas. Do you think they're really cute? We just like that idea. You could put a little bell, you could put a bell on it. For a £12.99 bundle, I just wanted to show you, you can get a lot out of it. Think of different ideas. I just always say and presume, you know, it's good for your stash, good for your stash, which it is. But also, if you're just buying this and you've bought the 60 degree triangle or you've got it already, I mean, I've only used a fraction of the bundle. I've still got loads of fabric for my stash. Um, I've been cutting, I've done lots of um, other strips as well, which, a brilliant just to have, very useful in your stash. Lots of patterns called two and a half inch strips. You could do like your bargellos and all sorts, couldn't you, with these? Look beautiful. You have absolutely loads in there. I mean, we've made one, two, three, four, five trees. We've got all of the strips and there's still loads left over. There's the blue there that's folded. That blue fabric's folding up. <laughs> £12.99, fantastic bundle. All of them, all of the solids are great value. We're going to go through the solid bundles now. Just have that in mind when you're seeing these bundles because quite often we'll go through them and just go half a metre of each, good for your stash. And it goes such a long way. It's such brilliant value for money. To see it as a start, you know, towards a project, you could just keep going and going and going and make a whole quilt, couldn't you? There's loads there. Right. Oh, I'm excited to see that finished, Hannah. Yeah, let's keep the trees. Um, which, which, which one are we going to do next? We've got some berries. The, is it this one? See, this is the one that I made the magic lantern quilt using this and using that 60 degree ruler. You may have seen it um, in the past. This is such a beautiful, beautiful pan uh, colorway. You've got the two lovely purples. See, I'd put those two together and these two together. They work very, very well as a, a, as a bundle, but I absolutely love these two together. The blush and ivory or blush and cream. And then your plum sort of beautiful, uh, very sumptuous purple, and then your magenta as well. They're lovely, aren't they? Contrasting cushion covers. They look lovely, don't they? £12.99. Um, do make the most of, of all of the core fabric bundles that are on our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It's always worth having a look on there because the price, for the quality that it is, it's 100% cotton, quilting weight cotton. It's just brilliant, brilliant to be able to have such great value. Oh, hi Sue. Sue's messaged in. She's been looking for a cutting mat that isn't green. This is ideal. We love this because it's got a bit of, um, I think it's got a bit of like an 80s feel to it. I love the, uh, the colorway. It's gray with this lovely neon pink. I feel like Mr. Motivator would have this cutting mat. It's so cool. £21.99. It, it, it is both, um, it's got both uh, centimetres and inches, imperial and metric. It's from Janome. What I love about this, Sue, is that I've got uh, an A4 cutting mat. I've outgrown it completely. I was always told, go for the biggest mat that your space will allow. Now, between our A4, and our Millwood was nothing. And I really thought, do you know what? I should really invest in the Millwood one. Um, 
but I, I'm thinking, right, will it fit under my sofa? Will I be able to put it under the bed? Yes, I could do that, but I was almost sort of thinking in my head too much. And this is now absolutely the ideal size for me because on your big stripology, if you've got the extra large one, if you've got the, the original one, if you've got the, uh, the squared one, you're gonna fit some of your big rulers on there. And I couldn't fit my, my stripology on the, the smaller ruler. So Sue, I love this mat. This is the one I'm getting. It's £21.99. It's 18 by 24 inches and it is absolutely ideal. Store it flat. So if you are like me and you don't have uh, a dedicated sewing space, store it flat. As I say, under a bed or under a sofa, um, do store it flat. It's really stylish, isn't it? I really like it. It's really stylish indeed. Uh, remember, inches and centimeters. Plus you've got your 60 degree line here. So just very, very quickly, you've got your 60 degree line. If you place your 60 degree line on there, you can cut with your stripology again, you could just go in with your stripology and cut two and a half strips and you would make diamonds. So that's what's really handy to be able to have these lines to line up your fabric keep cutting across and you can get some really cool shapes. You can cut hexes with this as well. Just £21.99. It is self-healing. It's from Janome. So Janome and Elna under the same umbrella, you know the quality of them. Just so you know, there's less than 15 of the green core bundle, which is the one that we were looking at here with this lovely blue. Is that like a turquoise blue? It's, like, it's perfect for the sky or the sea, isn't it? A lovely background, especially if you're doing some of these fern tree designs that will look beautiful. So you get half a metre, remember, of this lovely light and minty green, half a metre of your uh, fern green, half a metre of your chartreuse, and then also half a metre of the blue that you can see in the background here. I just think that's a really nice idea. Super duper popular. We're going to do the blue core bundle. Okay, warning on this one. This will fly. I think now I've sort of, uh, yeah, whenever we do blue bundles, they're always the most popular. I think blue is, well, Joe told us a very, very big statement that, you, uh, that, um, that blue is the world's favorite color. We also have the teal. I'm just gonna show you this, just in case, because I know that this one's gonna sell out. Um, I've also got this one, which they all work really nicely together. So this is blue and teal. This one, this is blue and teal. Isn't that beautiful? Just so you know, the blue just because they look very, very similar on the website. That's blue and teal. They look really nice all together, actually, and especially with the greens as well. I think it's a good chance to sort of get a lot of the core bundles. If you're spending £12.99, you're only paying one p and If you buy this bundle and this bundle, or if you buy this bundle and your teal bundle, or if you buy this bundle and, for example, your pinks bundle, that is a lot of fabric to get going, isn't it? Especially if you, don't get me wrong, I'm all for your designer patterned fabric, but there is now so much, I'm seeing lots of great contemporary quilt ideas where it is just block color. Or if you watch tomorrow, maybe you're at that point in your sewing journey when you're thinking about the long arm quilting machine, doing some real fancy quilting or ruler work, or just using some of the, the stitches, the different stitches that you've got on your machine and you just want plain fabric, for linings, for cushion backs, for cushion fronts, then this is just brilliant value, isn't it? Half a meter of this lovely deep blue. Remember, click on the item description on the website and you'll see all of these different colorways and what the names of them are. This is what is fantastic about us here at Sewing Street is that we've got a big warehouse facility and um, I love going to my uh, little shop, my little haberdashery shop. I'm lucky enough to have one in my town and I know not everybody has one on their doorstep, but they don't have enough room to stock all the different shades of blue. They might have a shade of blue or two or a couple of shades of yellow or pink. Whereas we've got such an array of colors that you're gonna be able to match it up just perfectly with some of your designer fabrics. Uh, and it just means it will go a long way. Deep blues, 
ombre into this lovely sky blue for £12.99. So if you're trying to make your mind up, I'll show it you next to it again so you can see the difference. Uh, this is the teal bundle now. So teal, blue. Teal, blue. Teal and blue. <laughs> Teal and blue. It's just because it's a bit confusing on the website. I just want to make that clear. And I hope I didn't muddle you up even more then. Uh, so you've got this lovely like peacocky green. See that colour is very, 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 very on trend. A friend of mine's just had a new kitchen with the work, the, uh, the cupboards this colour. Very nice. Love this colour as well. See this would go really nicely with the bundle that we are, the green cores. Is that the same one? In fact, it is, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is. Just shows, doesn't it? It will go really well because this would be really nice as well. So you've got um, this almost like sagey olive. I'm calling it French grey. It looks like a fancy Farrow and Ball paint colour, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. French grey, I think, is one of the Farrow and Ball colours. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, fancy paint. No, you're on about elephant breath. Honey just said, don't they have a paint called Fish Breath? I'm like, no. I know that Farrow and Boyle and different paint companies come up with quite obscure names for their paints, but I don't think you'll make it onto their marketing team. I don't think Fish Breath is going to be a big seller in anybody's home and kitchen, do you? <laughs> what do you have on your bedroom walls, Hannah? Fish Breath. I've got, I have got elephant's breath on our skirting board. All right, yeah. But I say it's that, it's not actually, it's a colour that's very similar, but I did like that one. Different. I, t I like to tell people that it's that. Um, it's jade, misty blue, peacock and teal. No fish breath, don't worry. £12.99. All right, this is a good text topic. Message in on the most obscure paint names that you've got in your, in your house or that you've heard. Okay, so Hannah's got Teresa Green, which is a Farrow and Ball one, Teresa Green. Quite often as well, lipsticks. I always like looking at the names of lipsticks because they're always strange names, aren't they? Hannah's got one called Hot Date. <laughs> she says I just wear around the house, house hoovering, but feel like, do you know what? I've got Hot Date. <laughs> £12.99. What colour are you going to paint your new house, Joe? Fish breath, <laughs> twelve pound ninety nine. So that's your teals and blues. <laughs> oh dear. I think you should be in the fabric naming department. You should. Right, shall we do the yellows? These lovely sunshine colours. I'm going to put these down under the desk once I've done them, so I know I can keep up with what ones are left. Um, the sunshine. Definitely again with this if you want to do a beautiful sunny sky. We want it back again. Oh, these are like sorbet colours, like lemon sorbets, aren't they? This is like your lovely, lovely um, lemon. Sunshine, bright yellow and almost like a gold as well. £12.99. This is what I think is brilliant. As I said before, we are very, very lucky to have the, the, the facilities to stock all of these different colourways. So you're always going to be able to find one that's going to max, uh, that's going to match in with maybe some of your liberties. See what I mean? If you do want to match in that lovely yellow, I'd go with your sunshine. Or if you want to match in the correct yellow to go with some of your Riley Blakes, then maybe this colourway. Um, th there's, there's so many different shades out there, and this is perfect to be able to mix in with all of your, your stash. Your Canning Days range, actually. I just saw this. Talking about paint colours, <laughs> just to bring it back to paint colours. So as I worked out where I got fish breath from, Aaron Ball also have one called Dead Salmon. I don't want dead salmon on my wall. Dad, what colour is that? Is it like a corally pink? Like a salmon? Why dead salmon? Not as bright. Oh dear. That can't be their bestseller. Then they've got elephant's breath. Therefore, she's combined the pink and the grey together to make fish breath. 
Just mix the two paints together, I see, as you do. I'm so pleased that you cleared that up for us, Hannah. But this is the uh, this is the canning days which we're going to come to in a minute. But again, your your yellow solids are going to look absolutely beautiful with those. Twelve pound ninety nine. There's a company that's got a paint colour. Thanks for messaging in. Called Nacho Cheese. Nacho Cheese. Nacho Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're making my tummy rumble. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> Nachos, I think it is. Oh, I'm literally into day three of healthy eating. It's really tough. It's tough. <gasps> do you feel better for it, though, I must say. Let's do pastels. Right, we need to check pastel because I don't think you get the Alison glass with it. I think you get these four. How many uh, meat, how, what does it say on your graphic, Joe? Two and a half. One, two, three, four. So it should be another one. We'll find out which ones it's missing. Um, right, what I'll do is I'll come back to that one. We'll find out which one's missing. Let's do the pinks. As I did mention this earlier, this is beautiful. Your purple, your magenta, your light pink, your hot pink. This is purple and pinks. Yeah. Two metres. It's called purple. It does... It does come with three pigs, two metres. Two metres. We're going to have to, um, we're going to have to do the pastel another day. Have a look on the website, but um, I think that we've got the wrong bundle come here. Have I got the wrong bundle here as well? How did we get that wrong? You said it's the one with the cream on top, didn't you? Sorry, right, so. This one's your purple bundle. Purple bundle is this one. Magenta, cream, purple and rose. This one's called purple and this one is called berries. I think this one we thought was called berries. You can see, sorry, you can see the mix up though. This is why I was, you know, trying to be very, very clear and thorough with my own head with the teal and blue. Teal and blue because it's easily sort of easily misled, whereas actually, sorry, got confused with this one. It's, Hannah is rarely wrong. I tell you that she is rarely wrong. £12.99 for half a metre of each of these. Now, the Geisha Girl bundle... There's now less than 20. It's brand new fabric. I'll show you that one again. Uh, for anybody who missed it, right, I'm going to put these two complete. Um, it's the same price as your core fabric bundles as well, which is fantastic because you're looking at your pattern fabric. You've got your beautiful printed geisha girls, your dragons. How cool would these be to fussy cut as well? You know when we were doing the really little scraps of Tula um, and making them into little triangles put together, I can imagine almost fussy cutting the fans and you could do like a kaleidoscope pattern with your geisha girls and fans, make a whole new look fabric. Half a metre of this one, half a metre as well of your dragons with gold. And then we've also teamed it with magenta. These together all look beautiful. Half a metre of the dragons, half a metre of the geisha girls, and half a metre of magenta for £12.99. It's all right. Okay. Also, my 60 degree triangle creative grid ruler, the six left. Six left. Oh, I'm so excited that um, hopefully we've given you a bit of inspiration to see what a finished project can start to sort of, how it can start to come together. Is it too soon to mention Christmas? I know a lot of people during lockdown have been able to get lots of different Christmas makes done though. So you can pack it away. What a lovely feeling to be able to go, right, I'm done. I've got my draft excluder. I've got my table runner done. I've got stockings. You could put that on the front of a stocking, applique it on. Uh, so why not? Absolutely. I'm all for getting the Christmas decks done uh, by the end of July and putting them away and bringing them back out in December. £20.99. Pardon? What theme am I having for Christmas this year? Oh, gosh, I don't know. It's too soon for me at the moment to think. I will. 
I'd love to be that organised, right? envious of the people who organise, who are getting so done. There's one of the girls who works over at our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, she's done all of her Christmas shopping. Lucy, she's done it. All online. Uh, the green bundle, bundle, blah, blah, blah. the green bundle, which is the one that we've used. There's now single figures of that one as well. Uh, just to remind you, it comes with half a meter of this lovely blue, which I folded in half, but you can see, and then half a meter of the green, half a meter of chartreuse, and half a meter of your light minty green. I've cut them all up, but you do get half a meter of each. We've got loads left over still. I mean, we really, really do have loads left over. This lovely mint chartreuse fern green and the blue, the ideas of starting a project. That's almost like your bundle really, isn't it then? Half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, and half a metre. £12.99. Just so you know, the yellow sunshine colour bundle has sold out. So has the teal and blue. The other blues, remarkably, at the moment is still available if you want to make the most of that. But that's limited also. Okay, shall we do the canning days? I did mention this earlier, so let's do it now. We've got the big Moda bundle. You have got half a meter of every single one of these beautiful Moda prints. They are absolutely gorgeous, especially if you were to team them with some of your solids. Four and a half meters, that is a lot for your money. 66 pounds and 99 pence. All four and a half meters of your Moda print. Do you like the way I'm doing it? This is a good way of displaying it actually, isn't it? Joe's going to build us a slope. How are you going to build a slope, Joe? You're not handy, are you? <laughs> They're lovely, aren't they? The lovely, um, Cottons are so, so soft. I know so many people that are quilters that honestly say that they only work with Moda fabrics. They are renowned for their quality. They've kind of sorted out all of your different scales of prints and textures for you. Uh, they work together so, so well. But don't get me wrong, you could use these in different projects, couldn't you? You, you don't need to use them all in one quilt. That's going to really last you ages. So all of that for £66.99. Four and a half metres in total. Loads of fabric to add to your stash. Sweet pea bundle. It was a brand new bundle today. We've seen the sweet pea fabric. Do you know what I feel like? I used to work in a, a, a in the shoe shop, Clark's, and the, the stock room was always downstairs. And I feel like I'm doing the full shop experience today where, hang on, let me just go out the back and see if I can find your size for you. That's what I feel like. I've got too many bundles, I have to keep putting them under the desk. Uh, 11 pounds 99, you get half a meter of your sweet pea fabric, half a meter of chartreuse, and half a meter of your pink. Eight of these remaining. It's the first time we bundled it. We love this sweet pea fabric and it goes beautifully with the two uh, complementary fabric fabrics. £11.99 for all three. Great. That's really good value as well, isn't it? Have you spotted the price? That's very low. That's probably wrong. That's very low. Um, there you go. It's only £11.99 for you, but that feels very low for me. Uh, right. Next one, Hannah. We've got the Rose and Navy, which I'm guessing is this one. This one, Rose and Hubble Navy spots. So you've got your Rose and Hubble, which is your 100% cotton poplin weight spots. And then you've also got your two quilting cottons in that lovely royal blue and your sky blue, half a meter of each of those for nine pounds and 99 pence. Sorry, he's not in there. He's coming back now. Just moving, camp. Just one and a half metres for £9.99. We've also got the rock pool bundle, did you say? Oh, yeah, this is really nice. You get half a metre of your crabs. 
Oh, I love it. That is, see, that is why we, uh, I tell you what, yeah, that's why they get paid the big bucks putting together fabrics like this. This one could be cool, fish breath, couldn't it? <laughs> this is Sea Rock Pool. They work together so well. I'm so bad at putting together colours. Anybody who's just tuned in, like, what on earth are you on about fish breath? We were talking about Farrow and Ball paint colours earlier on. And uh, Hannah mixed together two colours to make her own. Two of the names of them to make her own, which sounded very attractive. Um, so you've got the half a metre of this Lewis and Irene fabric, which has got like your sea urchins and your crabs. They're absolutely cool. I just love that. Starfish and shells. That is gorgeous. You then get half a metre of your rose in Rose and Hubble. And then you get the same colour that we had in the bundle that's been very, very popular with the trees. Again, we love this. It just shows, doesn't it, how much we've used this colour. It goes with a lot, doesn't it? It works really, really well. Love that bundle. £12.99 metre and a half and you've got your Lewis and Irene designer fabric in there. Beautiful, beautiful. The other spot bundle is with Navy. Club Tropicana drinks are free. Uh, this is your half a metre of Navy. Sunshine, purple, coral and pink. I don't know if you can see the difference as well as at home as I can here, but it's real sort of raspberry pink and this one's like um, a corally salmon, a live salmon. It's lovely and bright. Your purple half a metre, yellow half a metre and your navy half a metre. £18.99. It's nice to be able to incorporate a spot pattern as well into your solids, isn't it? Whether you're using these again for linings or for cushions or, as I say, incorporating it with any of your designer fabrics or your solids, adds a bit more interest to the eye. And the tropical colours are really nice. It's a really lovely midnight deep blue for £18.99. I think we've got time to do the silver stone. Yeah. This is silver stone from Moda. I think it's... Completely different from, we've, we've renamed it to Club Tropicana. Um, but uh, yeah, it's completely different to the Club Tropicana drinks are free, isn't it? Two meters. I love this color palette. This is me. This is a bit of me, as our Joe would say. 28.99. Half a meter of each. A little bit of me. And it's Moda, Three Sisters. They've thought again about the different textures. This one's got almost like a mottled background. It's really beautiful. This is like elephant's breath sort of colour, actually. It's lovely grey. Uh, £28.99, perfect for soft furnishings. Great for home decor, really lovely. Um, shall we have a bit of a look at what we've got coming up in the next hour? Um, yes, please, Joe. it means you. That's your cue. Um, one of the bags is jumping off. Oh no, it's not. We've got a hand model. We've got our very own hand model in today. <laughs> Don't worry, it's, um, yeah, it's not a real hand, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Jewelry Maker, for lending us uh, your model. You We've lended us a hand, we! <laughs> Gosh, we've got all the jokes this morning, haven't we? Aren't you pleased you tuned in? Oh, these are all from our gorgeous Kerry, living in loveliness. She's going to be joining us. Well, she came in yesterday afternoon to film the demonstration for us. I love these little bags. Aren't they so cute? And this is what I was talking about earlier. She doesn't skimp on her lining. No, our Kerry, my word. She always does the most beautiful, beautiful fabrics as the lining. I love that. How cute are they? Really nice shapes. Right, we're going to bring those kits to you very, very soon. Do not go anywhere. We're back after this very, very short break with Kerry from Living in Loveliness. 
Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your product isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Liz from Pinhole Quilting. Do you relate to any of these statements? I love to piece, but I don't enjoy the quilting. I've got so many UFOs, I don't know how I'm ever gonna finish them. I'd really like to finish my own quilts. If you relate to those statements, then you need to watch our show on Sewing Street where we've got a special offer for you. We're gonna show you how you can finish more of your own quilts. You can send in your questions, we'll answer them live on the show, we look forward to seeing you on Sewing Street soon. Welcome back, welcome back. I love the fact that we are seeing more and more and more of our gorgeous Kerry. She is a brand new addition to our Sewing Street family and our Sewing Street community. And I love the fact that everybody's on board with how amazing her kits are, they're stunning. Can't wait to meet you still, Kerry. She came in yesterday after Debbie's show and filmed this demonstration for us, which we'll be playing in a moment. So we've got two kits today, two brand new kits. We've got the Riley Blake option. Uh, new fabric in there which is absolutely gorgeous this fabric by the way is so pretty it's so so pretty I love the fact that it's got these embroidery hoops I know that Kerry was absolutely over the moon with getting this fabric in for us it's beautiful isn't that just gorgeous so this is the Riley Blake option now in here you've got everything that you need to make all three little uh, bags and all you might need to add a zip but you've got all of the fabric that you need to make your little storage box 
the square bag with a zip, which is the one that you're going to do the demo of, and then the triangular bag. Now you do get the instructions for all of them as well. Let's open it up and have a look. Now it comes so beautifully wrapped, all in tissue paper, with your sticker. I've already opened it. That's what we do when we get them in the morning, because morning, we're excited. But um, inside, it's just beautiful. As always, you get your instructions. The great thing is, is these are projects that I'm sure you're going to be making again and again and again. So to have those clear instructions that you're going to be able to come back to at any point, or remember you can go to our YouTube channel, type in today's date, and you can watch the demo as many times as you want. Stop, fast forward, rewind, pause at your own convenience and so along with it when you get your kit home. So you do have your thorough instructions for all three items, plus you've got your full size patterns in there as well. Um, then, Four fat quarters of Riley Blake. Two of our favourite, absolute favourite Riley Blake prints. They're beautiful. And then, let me open this out so you can see. How gorgeous is this? I know Joe's girlfriend, she's got her eye on this one. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Your little florals. I love about the little embroidery hoops. How cute is that? Absolutely love it. Oh, you've got the jug of flowers in like at my wedding. That's so nice. You've also got your stripe, which is this one. Aren't they lovely? I mean, honestly, they're so, so, so soft. Uh, it will talk through in the instructions, everything that you're going to need, as I say, just need to add maybe your zip. Um, keep those instructions going forward because you're going to have loads that you can make obviously you've got um lots of gift ideas or maybe if you're starting to do some craft fairs as well um just storage boxes for in the bathroom or in the bedroom or in your workroom these are absolutely ideal or plant pots they're quite great size actually so that's your riley blake option we also have of course we couldn't bring you a living in loveliness without a Liberty option. Now the Liberty options always sell very, 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 very fast indeed. I'm gonna put those together with these. And then the Liberty option, look at some of these beautiful, really beautiful options. So Kerry's made this one in the sort of, is it, I wonder whether actually, is she used? Yes, so whether you want to use it as this one as the outside, or you want this one out the outside and use the other one as the lining, it's up to you. So that's what she's done. She's sort of done two different options so you can see the difference, how beautiful they are. Mix and matching your fabric. So this fabric, as you can see, she's used on the, on the handle and she's used it as the body of this one. Mix and match it where you want it. All Liberty, all four fat quarters Liberty. By all means, do you know what I would do? I know Carrie loves a fancy lining and we did talk about this last day that we love a fancy lining. Use some of my stash, maybe some of my solids that I've got in the last bundle, and then keep my liberty, just to save her or every little scrap of liberty. You're getting four, in fact, should we open it? Four fat quarters. Da, 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 da. You're getting your instructions. That's the sound effects it's like, that comes with uh, living in loveliness. Every time you open it. <laughs> I can't guarantee that yours uh, will make that noise, but you can do it at home, feel free. I urge everyone to do it because it makes it exciting. Um, so you've got all of your great triangular zip purse instructions with great photographs. Very, very thorough instructions. So you're gonna be able to pick this up and put it down. Also your storage basket for all your fat quarters. Perfect size to fit all of your um, back quarters. Also, if you want to make any notes, things that you found handy to know, go through what you're going to need. Uh, you've got all of your uh, full size patterns and then let's get to the exciting bit. All of these back quarters. Your beautiful Liberty, not the look of, the real McCoy. Your beautiful Liberty in Blue. This is one of my favourites. And they're iconic, aren't they? They're from the Flower Show range. Uh, they're absolute, traditional, classic, iconic prints of Liberty. There's no denying that they are anything other than this iconic designer. $29.99, just so you know. Uh, Riley Blake is in the lead. We had good stock of both of them, just so you know. Uh, 
obviously because we've got more and more people watching, just I know who are, are getting involved in carry shows, lots of people who love living in loveliness. We're obviously getting more and more stock as the weeks go on. Uh, so we knew this one would be very, very popular, especially with the new fabrics, especially the choices that you can make and the value with less than 30 pounds. Uh, and to say that you're looking at three different projects, pattern pieces, instructions for three different items, quality fabrics, some of our favorite designers. So we think it's brilliant value for money and just wrapped beautifully. If you're thinking of a gift for somebody. We look, we've got a big quantity on this one. It's the most quantity we've had on any of Kerry's projects. So fingers crossed there's gonna be enough to go around. Um, as we expected, already flying out. Quarter of the stock have gone. Just be aware. Should we have a look at the demo and then we'll regroup? Uh, this is a shorter demo than normal, by the way. So do stay with us as um, I'm going to be back with you in about half an hour. So watch Kerry's demo. Check out of your baskets. Be quick because this one's going to be a quick seller, I think. Um, and I'll see you right after this. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm excited to be joining the Sewing Street team today to show you how to make a boxy zipper pouch. This is perfect as one of your sewing room accessories to keep all your little notions in there or of course you could use this for your makeup as well. This is from the Fabulously Fast Fat Quarter Fun Issue 3 Sewing Room Accessories um, launch there. So what we're going to do to begin with is start by cutting all of your fabrics using the templates and labelling those up just using a heat erasable pen and make reference to each piece um, by letter as we move through the project. You'll need a couple of other little notions as well including your zipper foot, you'll need a glue pen for inserting your zip, always a stitch on picker, we always need one of those to hand and also a pressing cloth as well. Just because during this demonstration today, I'm going to show you how to attach fusible interfacing. In the pattern, it does show you how to use fusible fleece, but just so you can see that you can work with interfacing if you have those at home, and it will give you this uh, similar stability in the boxy pouch as well. So starting with your two A pieces, we're simply going to place those onto the table with the wrong side of the fabric facing up towards you, using your iron-on interfacing, now you'll know which is the glue side because you can feel the little glue dots on the back of there. Make sure they're facing towards the wrong side of the fabric, aligning all those raw edges there and popping on your pressing mat on top and just applying a little bit of heat with your iron to allow that glue to fuse to the fabric. We're going to repeat that for the second A panel as well. So you can see just how fast that fuses together popping the wrong side of the fabric facing towards you, glue dots of the fabric on top so they're facing the wrong side of the fabrics here, making sure all those raw edges marry up. Popping your pressing cloth on top and just pressing through your fabrics. While we're here and we're working with the iron-on interface and we're also going to do this for the little tab as well. This creates a little handle on the side of the bag so it's easy to carry and also something to hold on to when you're opening and closing your zip. So with the wrong side of your fabric facing towards you, we're going to pop on that little piece of fusible interfacing, pop your pressing cloth on top and iron just over there to secure that last piece of fusible interface in there. We're going to fold the little tab in half lengthways and just press to give that a nice press. You'll feel that using the um, interfacing, it'll really give that fabric some lovely stability there. We're bringing the raw edge, so the second thing we're going to do is work with one of the raw edges and bring that into that center fold and press. And again, just moving that around and bringing that second raw edge into the center fold and giving that a little press here as well. And finally, just to, create, um, to complete that hanging loop, we're folding it over so the two folded edges are marrying up and giving that a little press. At this stage now, we're just going to pop on some quilting clips or some pins and we're going to sew along both sides, just using um, a zigzag stitch. You could use a straight stitch or any of the other lovely stitches that you've got on your lovely machines. I'm using a nice contrasting thread here. I 
I really like to be able to see the stitches on the projects. When we get to the end, just raising your presser foot, pivoting that around, and then sewing along the next side. to trim away all these extra threads just at this stage. You might find here you've got a little bit of interfacing overhanging, so we're just going to trim those down so they're all nice and neat for the next stage. Now with the right side of your A piece facing up towards you, we're going to fold this in half and just make a center point. So creasing the fabric there, just drawing on a little pen mark. This is so we can line it up with the zip. We're working with an oversized zip here, making this zip installation super easy. So we're going to find the center of the zip just by folding this in half again. Just running your finger to crease along that zip. And if we just draw two little pen marks there, we know that's the center of our zip. So we're bringing the zip across the top. Just making sure I'm going to work on the wrong side um, of my lining fabric here to just pop a little bit of glue onto that zip. So if I leave the zip in line, I know exactly where the glue is going, so I'm not putting too much glue onto there. Bringing this back. So at this point, you should be able to see the right side of your zip. As you bring this across and line up those black pen marks, we now can see the back of the zip. Now the wonderful thing about working with an oversized zip is we haven't got to worry about removing um, opening or closing the zip as we're sewing along. Again, we're just going to bring a little bit of glue over the top, only in line with the two raw edges of the fabric. With the lining piece of fabric, which is our B piece of fabric, we're placing this pattern facing down and just gluing that into place. You can, of course, use pins or clips if you want to. And what we're going to do next, so just working with your ruler, I've got a little one here on my mat, I'm going to mark up half an inch from the raw edge of the zip. And this is super important to get a nice finish. We want to make sure that there are no raw edges on the inside of our boxy bag here. So I'm marking up a, quarter in, um, a half inch from both sides there. We'll start by reverse stitching at the first pen mark and then finishing with a reverse stitch at the second pen mark because we don't want this to come open. And we're just going to change the foot over to a zipper foot on our machine, setting it up to the right side of the zipper foot, dependent upon what um, zipper foot you're working with. Onto the left side of the machine. <laughs> Getting my left and right wrong today. So onto the left side of the machine, when you put your zipper foot on top, what we want to make sure happen is this side of your zipper foot is running along the raw edge of your fabric, and this side of your zipper foot is running along as close to the zip as we can get that there. Starting at that first pen mark, we're starting with that reverse stitch, just on a nice straight stitch there, and we're sewing to the second pen mark. When we get to the second pen mark, we're going to finish with a reverse stitch as well. If you forget, which is easy to do, I would definitely recommend unstitching because this, this half an inch here is really important for the next few stages. So just take away all these joining threads at this stage so nothing's getting caught up in there in a moment when we come to um, sew up on the top of the fabric as well. So what we're going to do now is just to open up this panel to expose our zip. We're going to press along on the lining fabric just to make sure that that's completely out of the way of the zip. We don't want that fabric coming into contact with the zip when we're opening this. And then as we bring this forward, so now we can see the top part of our zip. I'm gonna pivot this so it's a little easier. Just using the tip of your iron, we're just gonna press as close to that little zipper as we can do there. Again, at this stage, it's worth just checking that your zip opens and closes because there is nothing worse than working through a whole project and realizing that your zip isn't working. So definitely double check at this stage. Because we've got a few layers of fabric here, I'm just going to slide in a few pins just to keep those fabrics together. We're going to sit this back onto the machine, moving our foot across this time to the right. 
sitting this on the machine. And again, we want this side of the zipper foot as close to the zip as we can. And we're just simply going to sew along using a straight stitch. We haven't got to worry about um, starting and stopping here because we haven't got the zip there. The same as when we did on the inside. You can mark this up if you want to. We're starting a half inch from the edge of the fabric and we're sewing all the way along the zip. Take your time here so you get a nice finish close to your zip. And then when we get half an inch away, we're going to reverse stitch again. You can, if you feel like you you're going to forget that stage, just mark those little steps up with your pen there. And then we can remove these pins at this stage. What we're going to do next is just have our second A piece pattern facing up towards us. And again, we're going to pop the wrong side of the lining fabric flat. Just pop a little bit of glue. This time we've got our guide here that we can see. So we're just running the glue along the zip, just a little touch of glue from both raw edges just here. And as we've turned this over, so we're making sure the wrong side of the zip is lining up with the raw edge of the fabric. Now what's super important here is that these raw edges here are marrying up. If they're not, just take a moment to re, uh, realign those fabrics. Again, we're going to pop the glue just onto the top, so this is the wrong side of the fabric. And now we're going to put that lining just on the top there. So securing that along that top raw edge, just pressing your fingers to secure it into place. Make sure these sides are marrying up. And again, we're going to mark that half inch point for our start and stop points. So just moving the zipper back over to the left and starting at that first pen mark. Just using that straight stitch. Reverse stitch to start with. And that second pen mark and reverse stitch again. A pack onto your ironing board here. So we're going to open the fabrics to expose that zip, making sure that we can see the zip there and the fabric's not overlapping. Just press that into place and turning the fabric over, just trimming away those extra threads. Again, you can see you've got that half inch either side here. Bring this back across and then just pressing, just using the tip of your needle, at uh, tip of your iron, making sure your fabrics are completely out of the way and they're not going to come into contact with your zip. Again, just do a quick check, make sure your zip opens and closes. And then we're just going to use those three pins to push through the layers to hold those together as we top stitch onto that little zipper there. This time, just as a little reminder, you can see your markings here. We're going to mark up half an inch from the side, which is about your finger space. And again there, just to remind you um, if you feel like you're going to forget that stage. Back onto your sewing machine and we're moving the zipper across now to the right. And now we're sewing across, lining up the zipper on top of the fabric. Starting at that first pen mark. Just took those threads out of the way. Starting there with that reverse stitch and sew into the second pen mark. And just reverse stitching there on that second pen mark. So there we've got the two parts of our zip secured into place and all the top stitching is done. Just take a moment to trim away all your joining threads. You don't want those getting caught up with the next stages of the project. There we go. So just remove those pins and we're just going to return our machine back to the original settings. Pop your foot onto the bottom. I can see here that I'm a little bit low on bobbin thread. I'm just going to top up that bobbin very quickly. 
And what we're going to do in just a moment is pop that tab on the inside of your little boxy pouch. What we want to make sure on this project is that there are no raw edges on the inside so you're getting a beautiful finish um, on this project. And by leaving those half inch gaps from the two sides, this enables you to do that without your fabric getting caught up when we're sewing through the zip in just a moment. So now we've got a nice top tuck bobbin, we'll start again. So we're opening the two A pieces and we're marrying those up together on this raw head, edge down the bottom. And then we're going to open up the lining as well. So you can see your two beautiful lining pieces are matching up and the top of your fabric is as well. Sitting these down onto the bottom, we're going to slide some pins here down towards the raw edge. And this is where I know that I'm going to sew in a moment. We do need a little turning gap here, so we're going to mark up a three inch turning gap along the bottom. And as we turn this around, we don't need any gaps on here. So just making sure that these are lining up to bo at, at the bottom. If you have got any overhanging pieces of fabric, or if you've got any overhanging pieces of um, interfacing, just take a moment to trim those away. And we're simply going to sit this onto the machine, starting at the raw edge, sewing to our first pen mark and reverse stitching. We're just using your straight stitch here. When you get to that first pen mark, just raise your presser foot, tease your fabric across, and start by reverse stitching from your second pen mark. We turn the fabric around on your A piece of fabric now, which is the fabric you'll see on the outside of your pouch. We're simply sewing across the full width at the bottom there. Again, starting with and finishing with your um, reverse stitch on there. As always, take a moment to trim all these joining threads and remove those pins as well. You'll notice whenever I'm using pins in a project, I always leave them a good two finger spaces back so I don't need to worry about removing those as I'm sewing. And then the next stage, what we're going to do now is to just open up these fabrics. So you've got two tubes, if you like, at this stage. By sitting, so this is the outer fabric, the A piece, just in half, we're going to make sure that that seam, so our little center seam here at the bottom, is sitting nice and tight, so we're lining that up with the center of the zip. And the lines that we're about to create are really important for when we come to box our little pouches as well in a moment. So just pressing this at this stage now. You can still leave your zip so it's overhanging for now. We will trim that down in a moment. We're just simply going to create two little score marks on either side of this bag, and we'll press the seams open as well. So just pop your fingers in, to the seam, make sure that's sitting on the centre of your zipper here and just press along. So you can see those lovely seams and again just on the outside. As we turn this over we're also going to press those seams open on the back as well. Again making sure they're sitting on the centre of the zip. There we go. The next thing we're going to do is pop this little hanging loop just on the inside of the project. So by folding the hanging loop in half, this is nice and sturdy. We want this at the back, so we want this at the end of the fabric just here. We want to be able to see this on the outside of the bag, so we're sitting this through onto the fabric here. So this is our A fabric, and as we push the folded edge inside, we're going to hang that hang hanging loop tongue tied there, overhanging by a quarter inch just here. Now you'll remember that we had this little overhang, this little inch, this little, little half inch here. What we're going to do is fold back the zip out of the way and fold back the lining, crossing them over on the opposite side of the fabric. So you're really bringing that zip out of the way at this point. Just use a pin and slide it through both fabrics. You can do this on both sides 
This bit's quite tricky, so I definitely recommend just adding that extra pin. You can see there that we've got the lining fabric. We want to bring those two folded edges there as close as we can. So to do that, I'm simply going to push the pins through the fabrics. And so it's easy for me to remove them. I'm overhanging the pins. Bringing that line in so it's close together. It's easy to end up with a little gap here. So take your time at this point. Make sure that little loop isn't twisted. That's why I like to hang it out on the end because I can see at this stage if it is. So just take a moment. This is the fiddliest part of it, but it gives you that lovely interior to your bag. So we've got two pins overhanging here. And just to finish these, we'll do them on this side as well. And we're simply going to start with a reverse stitch. We're sewing across to the end and reverse stitching as well. It is quite tight to get in here with your foot, so take your time when you're sewing across this part. So starting with your reverse stitch. Removing your pins as you're sewing, we don't want to sew over those. Keeping your hands nice and close here. Keeping your stitching nice and slow. You'll find there's quite a lot of thickness there, so just raise your foot and we're sewing as close as we can to that zip, moving those pins as we sew. We've got quite a few layers here, so just take your time and reverse stitch when we get to the other side. So that's now your hanging loop that's inserted and we've got the outer part of the bag sewn together. While we're working on the outer part of the bag, we still have got the zip overhanging at this stage. We're going to do the same on the opposite side. So we're folding back. If it's a little bit tight, just open up a couple of stitches. If you feel like it's a little too close. Bring your zip folded out of the way. Remember your zip at this point is still here. So remember to close that in a moment when we come to do your lining. In fact, we'll do it now. Let's do it now so we don't forget. So tuck your zip on the inside so it's sitting on the inside of the bag, about the center here. It makes it easier when we come to reverse the project in a moment. We'll do that because I'm very forgetful and I want to be able to open that zipper in a moment. So if you like me and forgetful, remember to do it at this stage. We're folding that zip back and bringing these fabrics now out of the way in exactly the same way that we did on the other side. Sliding your pin through. You've got two pieces here of your zipper, so just take a moment with those, bringing this back to really expose that lining. And pin this one into position. Push your pins towards the centre as well, so you're not poking your hands. Exactly the same here, this time we haven't got to worry about the hanging loop, we've done the tricky bit. So we're simply pushing the pin through the fabric, making sure these two folded edges, that's why we've got that little half an inch, that's why it's so important to remember that stage. We want to be able to get the sewing foot. We don't want any little holes on the inside of there. And we're going to do the same. So start by reverse stitching, sewing across that center. Take your time when you come into contact with your zip. Although you're not sewing across your zip, you want to make sure it's tucked back completely out of the way. Remove your pins. And then we're sewing along to the other end. Now while we're at this stage, we're just going to put our little box corners on there and we'll do it while it's all exposed and easy. Sitting the ruler onto the bottom, we're working with a one and a half inch corner and we're simply going to draw a little half of a square on there if you like. So the one and a half inch line on both sides of the ruler is on the two raw edges and I'm just drawing that little corner there. And again, the same on your second corner. Let's pop into this corner as well. It's easy to access at this point. So we're sitting this onto your bag, drawing that in there. It will make the later stages a little easier. I'm repeating that on all four corners. We will trim this down in a little while, but, if, but first of all, we're going to sew that lining. So we can release those pins now, turn the project over. We can trim this zip down um, right now. We'll just trim that little zip off at the end there. Try not to use your best dressmaking scissors at this stage. Trim those away. Remember, I'm leaving this little hanging loop just overhanging here. I tend to fill my bag up as much as I can, so we want that overhanging at the end. We're going to pivot this over and simply repeat those stages on the lining part of the bag as we did on the inside of the bag. So just bringing these in, pinning through your layers. This time you've got your zip to sew through. 
So at this time here, sometimes you've got a little bit of an overhang, we'll keep our finger on this part as we're sewing across. Make sure your zip's nice and close together. And we're sewing through those layers just here. Popping that onto the machine and starting with your reverse stitch. You get close to your zip, just remember to remove those pins. Make sure that zip is nice and close together and that we're sewing as close as we can so we have no gaps on the inside. And we can remove those pins. We'll do this little step here because these corners are exposed. So popping your ruler onto the corner, resting it on that inch and a half. There we go. And repeating this onto this second side. Now you've got a little bit of extra fabric this time because we've got that little hanging loop which is quite sturdy. So really peel this back. First of all, if you push that back and overlap the lining fabric, that should hold that out of the way and tuck it into place for you. Just pin through those fabrics through your zip on the end just to hold those into position and we're sewing across starting and finishing with that reverse stitch again. Any nice and close. And all we've got now to do is to draw these little corners on there as well. So keep it nice and easy, remove these pins and what we're going to do is trim away these corners here. So just cutting the into your corners, cut along that line that you've drawn. We'll start with the outer part of the bag. Bring this to the other side to expose the second side. And as we turn this over, we'll repeat the same on here as well. Just pop a little bit of weight on there so we can get into that corner. Make sure your lining is completely tucked out of the way. We don't want to cut through that at this stage. And finally on that fourth side as well. So to finish the corners now, what we're going to do is just poke our fingers on the inside of the lining. This bit gets a little bit tricky here because you've got a lot of fabric. So working with the side you can see. So you press some little score lines earlier on when you folded your fabric in half. What we're doing now is we're lining up those two seams with that mark that you press. So you press that little score line. If you make sure they're sitting centrally on top, you'll get a beautiful finish to this bag. Pin your seams open, so two pins, two pins is enough on here, so I'm pinning those seams open and I'm simply going to sit this onto the machine, I'm repeating this on all sides and starting with a reverse stitch. I've left my pins far enough back so I don't need to worry about removing those. And if we trim all the threads as we're sewing around, this bit can be nice and nice and fast. So again, second corner, where that little crease fold is that you made earlier, pushing those seams open, sliding through your two pins, leaving them a good finger space back from the edge so you don't need to worry about removing them as we sew. Sit them onto the machine, lining up the raw edge of your fabric with a machine foot. And we're simply sewing across each of these corners now. Taking the pins out and you can see these little box corners are starting to come together now to form this beautiful boxed pouch bag here. So we're simply going to follow that around on all of those corners. At this point I'm probably going to pin a few at a time so I can keep this nice and speedy. 
and again on the second side or the fourth side, it's the fourth corner. Just sliding those two pins out. And resting those onto the machine. And again, reverse stitching on there. I can see those pins are coming into contact, so just take a moment to move those. Trim away those threads as we're sewing. And we've just got that last corner for the lining part of our bag. Always reverse stitching. We don't want to pop all our little goodies in here and then realise we've got a little hole. So we didn't take a moment to reverse stitch. So we've done the lining part of the bag. And we're now going to do the exterior part of the bag. It's easier to see that crease line here. So if I show you that there, we're going to open up the seams. And bring those two pins. Getting ahead of myself there. I was going to do two at a time. <laughs> we'll slow it down. We'll do one at a time. And this time, because we know how to do it, we've had a little practice on the lining. We'll follow this bag around. Just keep tucking the lining out of your way, making sure that little fold line and those seams are open. And again, onto the third corner, sitting that seam on, pressing open those seams. You can feel through the fabrics with your fingers, sliding those two pins through. And finally, on the fourth corner. This just means that we can sew all of these as a little bit of a production line, if you like. Let's just pop those onto the machine. We'll cut all the threads together in a moment so we can work around right the bag. Just keep positioning it. Make sure when you're sewing on your machine, if like me, you're leaving the pins in and you've left them far enough back. Just make sure you can see the pins as you're sewing. If you think you're going to come into contact with the pins, then you can remove those as you sew along. And we've got two more to go. And that last one there, this is quite tricky, this last one there, because we've got um, your little hanging loop. Really make sure these fabrics are pressed flat on your machine, that there's no folds in the fabric as you're sewing across. And all that's left to do now is to remove those pins, trim away all these little threads that we've got here. Not chuck them on the floor like I normally would do. And then what we're going to do here is just poke our fingers through this turning gap at the bottom into the project. We left that zip open so we should be able to turn this quite easily. Tease that fabric through that little hole. And there you have your beautiful, vibrant, pink, boxy makeup bag. So just take a moment to really push into all of those corners. And you've got a few choices here to finish this project. You can hand stitch that gap on the inside, which is what I would normally do. But just so we can finish this project off today, we'll slide two pins through and we're just going to sew across there Sit it onto your machine where the turning gap starts. Start with a reverse stitch. And finish with a reverse stitch as well. Trim away all those lovely threads. And if you really want to give 
your little boxy make uh, boxy makeup bag or boxy pouch that finished effect you can just press alongside all of these seams to really score those lines into position you've got your little hanging loop which makes it easy for you to open and close your bag i hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial thank you very much for joining me and i look forward to seeing you again soon Thank you, Kerry. Did you see, by the way, in the background, the sneak peek of what's coming up next with Kerry, the organiser? That looks amazing, doesn't it? I love Kerry's project. And um, I mean, that was just a, a, a sort of dip your toe in to what you're going to be able to make with this kit because you've got four back quarters and three different projects with different instructions. So it, depending on, you know, your combinations of fabrics, you're going to be able to make your bags, you can make your storage boxes. By all means, you could just use all of your fabric to make more storage boxes, these lovely tubs to keep all your fat quarters in. It's up to you, but then keep your instructions because how handy are these gonna be for Christmas gifts or birthday gifts? Uh, in the kit, just as a, a, a reminder, uh, I know that the Liberty one at the moment is in the lead. Surprise, surprise, as I say, always very, very popular indeed. You're getting your full instructions from gorgeous Kerry with amazing uh, photographs, very, very thorough indeed. And don't forget, you can watch back on YouTube at any time the demonstration that we've just seen. So do make sure you jot down today's date and uh, and so along. So all of your instructions, there's your storage basket, uh, goes through what you're going to need, including your full size patterns. What, what I would do with these is I would probably trace them out. I mean, don't get me wrong, you could cut them out, but just keep them nice and, uh, and neat because you're gonna wanna use these patterns again, aren't you? Absolutely, use and use and use these. Add a zip, don't forget, have a look on our web shop. You may wanna add interfacing as well, just a medium weight iron on interfacing if you just want to give it a bit more structure. It depends how much structure you want, um, but definitely have a look on the web shop and see what's available. Even if you add some H640, that would give it some real lovely body, like a fusible fleece. So, just a reminder, all of these fat quarters included in today's fantastic value for money kit. Four fat quarters from Liberty. This is the most popular project we've had from Living in Loveliness. Um, in terms of the amount selling, um, I I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised because, I mean, we're not even finished, uh, we're not even near 10 o'clock yet. And I think it's the value for money. It's the amount that you've got, the amount of projects that you've got in here, the amount of instructions, your patterns, your gorgeous array of Liberty fabrics. For the value, I'm not surprised. Um, what we'd normally sell out in a day has already sold out within the hour this time, um, but we have more stock, so don't worry. We have more stock this time. We knew that this was gonna be popular. Normally we have, you know, a smaller quantity and they will sell out very quickly. 29.99, all of these beautiful, stunning soft liberties we'd normally have sold out by this point but we've bought more we've made the most and made made sure that we've got plenty of these in stock for everybody i'm so pleased that um you're all loving kerry as much as we do honestly we're so so thrilled to have her as part of our family she's so lovely she really really is so we can't wait to, to have her here in the studio and get chatting to her um so there you go, that's the Liberty one. We've also got the Riley Blake. I just love how neatly they're all sort of, it makes me take more care with them. It makes me just take a bit more care when, when you know, presenting it and talking about it. It feels like a real treat for me when you're unwrapping. You know, when you get a real posh box of chocolates or if you get a, a love, if you buy something from a fancy shop and they wrap it in tissue paper. It just makes you appreciate it more, doesn't it? You're so differently with this, I want to say. Oh, look at this. Oh, I do love, I, I love the, the presentation that she puts in, the love and attention to detail. This brand new fabric is gorgeous. They're little embroidery hoops. They're absolutely adorable, look. This is definitely, um, this is definitely your kind of thing, Hannah. Fresh from the garden. Beauty. Bloom and grow. $29.99. All of your fat quarters. Just full of love, aren't you, Han? And beauty. Can we start a new um, nickname for Hannah, please? McBabe, because her last name's McCabe. Oh, your Instagram's McBabe8, is it? McBabe. 
I don't know how I've never called you that before. Right, we're starting it. It's now a thing. She says, I've been trying to get this a nickname, uh, to be uh, called this nickname for years and years. She says, at uni, at you, oh no, it didn't stick at uni. The only one that was stuck at you uh, 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 was Eliza Thornbury. Oh gosh, yeah. It was a cartoon that talked to animals and she had big curly hair, didn't she? She had big curly hair. Um, <laughs> You, you don't look like Eliza Thornbury. I'm going with Hannah McBabe. I did say that, didn't I, the other day? <laughs> You've got all of these really lovely... Um... <laughs> these are all really lovely thorough instructions, so I'm laughing at her nicknames. <laughs> That's cruel, isn't it? £29.99, all of your instructions. Plus you then got your um, instructions, your patterns and all four Riley Blake fabrics. Your fabulously fast fat quarter fun. Sorry, I just wanted to practice because I couldn't say it the first time around. It's quite a difficult, a bit of a tongue twister, especially in the morning. Okay, let's wrap this back up. There are other projects from Kerry on the website. Um, I have bought a couple of them out just so you can see, but remember to check the web page. Um, whatever's on the, the live show will appear underneath us, but also have a bit of a scour through our category section because you'll be able to find or type in living in loveliness. If you really enjoyed that demonstration, you can watch back on YouTube. Terry's done lots of demonstrations for us and, uh, and put together some absolutely beautiful, beautiful kits. So if you do want to have a look, type in living in loveliness. A couple of the ones that are available, we've got the soft uh, caddy and we've also got the clutch. Now, the clutch looks like this. It's gorgeous in the wool. It is absolutely gorgeous. So you get uh, your fabric, your wool fabric, which is like Savile Row wool. It's just gorgeous. You also have this lovely, almost like cotton canvas floral print, which is then also used um, as your lining inside your pockets. <gasps> How indulgent this. It's absolutely gorgeous to make your clutch bag. Um, and let me show you, in fact. Your instructions, I will show you it, what you're getting in there. So you, there's your wool. You get some wadding, lovely soft wadding. You get two zips as well. You get your magnetic clasps. You get your instructions, your Natasha craft clutch. Now it also comes with a YouTube tutorial. Um, if you go onto Sewing Street, and type in living in loveliness you'll see all of Kerry's demonstrations um, on our YouTube channel so it's a really great reference point to go back to it when you got the kits home if you loved that last demonstration plus also this one I love this floral fabric yeah it's so nice it's a slightly sort of heavier weight it's almost like a, a cotton canvas uh, which is fantastic because you don't really need to interface it you've got the wadding in there which will give you lovely uh, sort of uh, soft Texture is £24.99 for your craft clutch kit. Great if you do an EPP on the move, maybe going down to the park, sitting in the garden, or um, making the most of the sun that will be back next week. Weather forecast update. I always wanted to be a weather girl. I once, um, I once went for a, an audition for a weather girl, but you have to have a what is it called? The degree of it's a really strange degree. Is it meteorology? Yeah. You have to be really clever. <laughs> it's not just like, um, no offence to me, Hannah's saying. She says, yeah, Vic, you have to be really clever. It isn't just like, right, today is sunny, today is cloudy. No, they're ever so, um, I didn't do too well at that. I didn't do too well. Right. We've only got one colourway of this caddy. Now, this is the, uh, the Riley Blake colourway, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's Riley Blake designer fabric. It's Fantastic. Now that's not option two. This that's option one that I've got made up. The kit that we've got is for option two. I just wanted to show you the size of it. So it comes with Liberty fabrics. Um, it has pockets. Oh no, it is Riley Blake. It's just a different colorway. Sorry, there was two of each. So um, you've got your pockets on the front. You've also got pockets on the inside. Ha have I got the bundle here? Let me show you the different fabrics that you are going to get in the kit. Just wanted to show you what a finished one made looks like. So you've got your instructions, 
You've got your patterns, your full size patterns. Uh, so you've got your webbing instead of the green strap, you've got the pink, you've got enough for that, which is fantastic. You've then got similar fabric, still this lovely floral, and you've got the same contrasting fabric. The only difference is this one. So instead of the lighter pink, you get this pink. It's beautiful. And then we're also adding in your uh, bosal as well, which is like a, a sew-in foam, which gives you that structure. Because when you've got a caddy and you want to put loads in here, there's nothing worse than a bag that's just going to collapse on itself. Or don't get me wrong, you can squash this right down and store it away. But um, it is handy that it's it's got lovely body. So that's the bosal, which you can sew through. $39.99. If you do want to watch the show back, as I say, it's on our YouTube channel. Type in Sewing Street, Living in Loveliness, and you'll be able to find all of Kerry's demonstrations on there. You also have this lovely contrasting, spearminty, greeny blue. It's beautiful. Okay. So that's the caddy. As I say, there are other options on the website. It's definitely worth typing in Living in Loveliness on www.sewingstreet.com on our website and you'll be able to find all of Kerry's kits that we have available. So, I've got so much to talk to you about in the last hour. Um, I think everybody's already been a bit eagle-eyed actually on the website. If you haven't already, please, please do. Sharon has messaged in. Sharon, have you spotted the Tula Pink? Yep. Tula back in stock, the Aurifil thread pack. I'll start with it in fact, but if you do want to go onto the website and get ahead of the queue, or if you've got any questions about the 680, we're gonna do the most exciting deal we've ever done. We're bringing it back from Saturday. Um, only five bundles available. I'll explain all and how we've bought it back. Don't go anywhere, we're back right after this. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring your question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, 
drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved and it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Liz from Pinhole Quilting. Do you relate to any of these statements? I love to piece, but I don't enjoy the quilting. I've got so many UFOs, I don't know how I'm ever going to finish them. I'd really like to finish my own quilts. If you relate to those statements, then you need to watch our show on Sewing Street, where we've got a special offer for you. We're going to show you how you can finish more of your own quilts. You can send in your questions, we'll answer them live on the show, we look forward to seeing you on Sewing Street soon. Oh, we're all very excited about tomorrow's show, aren't we? I'll be watching from home. John Comorgan is joined by uh, the ladies from um, the, the Long Arm Quilting Machine Company. It's absolutely amazing. It really, really is. And I know, of course, John Cole Morgan has got um, a long arm quilting machine. I think this is the one that he's got, actually. I think this is the same company where he's got in touch with them and uh, he's managed to set up the show for us. So I'm really excited about that. That'll be brilliant. So if you're a quilter, um, do actually make the most of it. Those of you that love our John, if you watch his birthday show, um, this sold out in a heartbeat. I haven't even had a, a little look in, a peek at this. So as soon as um, we, we bought this back in today, already selling on the website, wanted to bring it straight away. Graphics are live. If you want it, grab it now. If you know, you know. This is Tula Pink teamed up with world famous Orifil to produce the most beautiful 100% cotton quilting um, uh, threads they are absolutely gorgeous look at the presentation they are absolutely gorgeous so they're all 50 weight you've got 20 in here and you get 200 meters on each spool 200 meters on each spool look at these colors oh they're amazing two um 2000 meters of thread look at this 4,000 metres of, of thread. Oh, I absolutely love it. She designs all of her own sort of artwork for a packaging. She's so on board with the colours that are chosen. They're absolutely beautiful quality. 50 weight is going to be great for all of your machine sewing. You can also go in your bobbin. You could use it for your um, applique. You can use it for your piecing. You can use it for even your hand sewing. We're so limited. We don't even open the plastic on this until we know that we can get more. And the thing is, we uh, the great thing about our show is that we open it up to everybody and say, look, what do you want us to bring you? What do you love? What do you struggle to get hold of in the crafting world? And so many people have said to us, please, 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 can you get Tula Pink? Because she is huge, very, very, very famous in, in America. And uh, it, it, it's actually quite difficult to get it here in the UK. She's so interesting, her fabrics and her threads and her, her tools, her whole range of, of products that she brings to us are just absolutely amazing. We are very, very lucky that we have got a very good personal relationship with Tula herself, Tula Pink herself. So we're lucky that we do manage to get great products in quite fast actually but still with what's going on in the world at the moment um the reason that i'm stressing to you that these are back in stock is because i don't know how long we could wait until we get more um 66.99 they are fantastic quality orofil threads if you've seen the adverts um and you've seen debbie shaw talking about her top tips she talks the first tip that she says is think about what thread you're using a great quality thread will not only sort of not have as much lint build up in your machine, which you know is brilliant, but it's also stronger. Cotton Thread uh, from Orofil, they are such a world-renowned company for their quality cotton. And I know so many quilters that solely only use Orofil. Even if you, you're not 
the biggest Tula Pink fan. These are great colours for your stash, aren't they? Because you've got your neutrals, like your black and white. You've got a lovely range of like your sunset shades into your lovely greens and blues. You've got all of those pinks that you're really going to be able to match up. It's almost like your rainbow pack of Tula Sunrise uh, uh, colours. They're absolutely beautiful. And I understand, look, it's a bit of a investment. It's a bit more of a considered purchase. But when you break it down, I don't normally do this, but if you break it down per spawn and per metre, how much it is, it's actually no more expensive. It's really good price point. Really good price point. So have a serious think about it because I know a lot of people, we all think about the design of fabrics and the fabric quality that we're, we're looking at. If you're piecing, we uh, we don't really talk about the thread that's holding these pieces together. Uh, and this is a big, big part of it. Uh, the RFL thread is fantastic quality. All the quilting, these are going to be great for quilting as well. 50 weight is probably your most universal thread weight. £66.99, pence. beautiful colours. And just wanted to let you know that they launched on John Con Morgan's birthday show. They came into stock, they sold out on that day. They sold out straight away. Uh, and we're really, 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 really pleased that we've managed to get them back. Look at the presentation. If you're buying as a gift for somebody, they're stunning. If you've got any Tula Pink uh, fabrics, whether it be the Lair Cake, the Charm Packs, the, uh, the, the design roll that we had, all these colours are going to go so well with her fabrics as well. So, talking about bringing it back, we've got quite a few items this hour that um, I want to talk about back in stock. So, it's basically a bit of a back in stock show. On Saturday, those of you that saw the weekend, wasn't it amazing? It was National Sewing Machine Weekend. Uh, well, we made it into a weekend. It was actually officially National Sewing Machine Day on Saturday, um, but we, uh, we, yeah, we spread it out, made a whole event about, uh, around it on the, the, the whole weekend and offered you uh, the best deals we ever have on Sewing Street, the, some of the best deals I've ever seen on sewing machines. Um, and that's why so many of you took advantage. Now, we saw um, ones with big bundles. We bundled them with lots of different products, made them absolutely unmissable. We also did machines that had got big discounts. For example, the embroidery machine that completely sold out had a big discount. What I love about this machine is that it's completely exclusive to us here in the UK. Um, it's uh, Elna, which is, of course, a very, very reputable brand. I think those of you that are uh, a, a bit like me, that like to sort of dabble in different areas of sewing. So if you say, right, I, I like dressmaking. I also do bag making. I also like quilting. I also like my hand sewing and I like uh, decorative stitching. If you are one of those toy making and all sorts, this is a machine that I think sort of goes across um, all of the mediums and you're going to be able to do lots and lots and lots and lots with it. It's a computerized machine, but the reason that I love it is because I'm a complete technophobe and this doesn't scare me. It's so user friendly. Right, before I go into the nitty gritty of the machine, let me tell you about what happened on Saturday. So we had this machine and out of all of the machines, we had, we had I think six machines on the show. And this was the one that um, I had for my birthday uh, showcase. This is one that I will always champion. It's a bit like our flagship machine. So this one sold out very, very quickly. We put together a big bundle of freebies with it. Now, um, I think this is, was a bit unfair if I'm brutally honest, because we had quite a nice size bundle, uh, amount of machines and offers uh, available, but this one sold out very quickly and we had a lot of people messaging saying they missed it. And they missed out because of the ruler rack. The ruler rack, we only had so many of these in stock, they all went into the bundles. Then the ruler rack, obviously, we, all of the bundles sold out and we couldn't rebundle it because we didn't have the ruler rack. So I just thought that that's a little unfair for anybody who maybe this is your dream machine, you really, really want it and you missed out for the sake of a ruler rack. As soon as it came back into stock, we knew from yesterday that it would be in for today. We begged and we pleaded to the management and I, this is why I've got to stress this to you now. So if it's watched back, it's clear that I've told you this. It is only for today, there's five available five more bundles that we've been able to do and it's just a little bit of a treat for anybody that might have missed the weekend. We got a lot of messages and I, I don't want, I hate to see people missing out because it's such a dream machine, it really is. I'll talk through the machine in a minute. The goodies that you get as extra for free 
total free, just freebies galore. Now, normally, if you get a few freebie extras with things, I always go, oh, well, you know, they're good, but I'm not going to use them. These are all really, really, really useful items as well. For example, quilters, you're getting, in fact, I'll go through the order on here. So you get your hemline marking pen. You get a fabric marker, always extremely useful. Oh my word, the ruler rack. There you go. The ruler rack back in stock. It's a large ruler rack, great for all of your creative grids. If you're thinking, I haven't got any creative grids, you do now. We've also thrown in the creative grid, beautiful non-slip grip and not a funny size. I mean, this is, this is one of the most useful rulers that Creative Grid offer. The uh, rectangle, great size, non-slip, beautiful, beautiful quality uh, quilting ruler. You then also got your super, super soft wadding, uh, which is your polyester, 100% polyester. It's a big uh, wadding. I think this is queen size. You'll get that included. You'll also get your rainbow stripe fabric panel. You'll get your colour me in, the one that we saw in the early bird today. Your colour me in a rainbow fabric panel and you'll get some fat quarters. All of that, over £91 worth of freebies included with the machine. How incredible is that? You get loads and loads and loads and loads of goodies. Those of you that are maybe seeing the machine, you've seen it before, you've been umming and ahhing about it, let me tell you why this will be absolutely the flagship machine for us here at Sewing Street. Obviously, got big plans. We only started the show back in uh, February, which was just before the madness in the world started. So uh, we obviously had planned lots and lots of shows where demonstrators would be here, getting involved, making things, and obviously brilliant from the power of technology. We've been able to do it um, via uh, videos from home, and lots of our guest designers have been sewing along in the studio or at home. But Eventually, when we're back to normal, we'll be able to have uh, guest designers in with us and primarily probably using this machine because, as I say, it's so versatile, it's so user-friendly. No matter what sort of brand you're familiar with using, I think this is one you could plug in and just get sewing. It's a big machine. The reason that I love it is because if you're quilting or bag making, dress making, you've got this really nice, very well-lit, extra-wide throat space. Uh, it is going to be very, very handy if you are doing larger projects. Speaking of larger projects, it also comes with an extension table. If you have got a dedicated sewing space, leave it on. Leave it on and you can, you can just uh, <laughs> leave it on, Hannah. Oh, you're talking about something else. <laughs> You've also got a free arm. So those of you that are dressmakers, maybe you're doing sleeves, or trouser legs or hemming or, or, or bags, then this is going to be ideal that you've got the free arm as well. It's got, for quilters, an extra high lift. So your foot will give that extra lift if you have got uh, extra layers going through. It also has all of your sort of speed dial buttons here. You've got your start and stop so you can use it with or without a foot pedal. You can just do some quick sewing without even having to plug your foot pedal in. You've got your reverse, you've got your locking stitch so you don't need to go forward and back, you can just do your locking stitch. You can do your needle up down, uh, which is fantastic just to be able to know that you're finishing a sequence or if you're going slow, you need to reposition your fabric, you can just keep that. You can actually set it, it's got a memory, so you can set it so that the needle stays down. You've also got your thread cutter, one of our favourite, favourite features of the Elna machine. Uh, it saves thread, it saves time, really, really easy and conveniently there. As I say, the machine has a memory, so if you want, you can actually end all of your sewing sequences to end with the needle down and with, or, or with, you know, with cutting the thread at the end of your sequence, locking stitch and cutting your thread. It also has the variable speed control, which you can actually change speed whilst you're sewing. You can do some real quick stitching. I think it's up to a thousand stitches a minute. Um, you might want to slow it down when you're going around curves or you're doing some more precise sleeves or intricate sewing or maybe you are starting out I always like to you know if I'm doing Y seams or curves to really slow it down look at this whilst we're here Oop, secret compartment to keep all of your feet it comes with so many feet as standard it comes with the circular pivoting pin all of them are named are named as well so you've got all of the letters next to it corresponding with the computer screen so it won't let you do anything you're not allowed to do this isn't the only storage space there's also the, the sort of gubbins box at the bottom if we come over Joe to the, the screen what I love about the computerized machines don't be scared by it. if you've never used a computerized machine before don't worry it is really user-friendly. 
it will program, when you select a stitch, it will program what stitch length and what stitch width it needs to be. It will also tell you what foot needs to be on there. So for example, let's have a look through the screen. So at the bottom, again, the speed dial element where you've got your straight stitch, it will automatically sort of uh, move the needle across to where it needs to be. If you want to do your quarter of an inch, it's there. If you want to do your zigzag, you can override this so if you want to do a, 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 a you know a wider zigzag or a longer one then you can if you do want to then just default back to its original settings you can press c so if you press loads of buttons and you think hang on i just want to go back to the start you can do it by pressing the c button you've also got a buttonhole now can you see there it tells me i need a uh, foot r which is my buttonhole foot it tells me my stitch number 23 it's gone to the everything correct so you do not need to be moving adjusting anything it will do it for you uh, it's also got the keypad here which is a real sensitive lovely touch screen and that corresponds with all of the number that so our flat uh, the flap that just lifts up at the top here has got a huge array of utility stitches, satin stitches, decorative stitches, applique stitches. You've got alphabets on here so you can do monogramming, you can do numbers on here. You've got the spaces as well at the bottom, 97, 98, 99, so you can do all lovely sequences. And it has a memory. So if you want to do a spool with scissors, with um, a mannequin, with musical notes, you can, you can sort of put together your own sequence and then uh, maybe the name of your your friend or your loved one or if you want to do a business name you can put all that in there it's brilliant so you can select the mode you can see they're all in categories there's mode one mode two mode three mode four mode five mode six and that will easily navigate on your computer screen sorry joe i know you're getting your steps in today you might as well just stay with us here um the, it will monitor, it will just uh, sort of coordinate with the modes that you can see at the top. There's your mode button, go between different modes, mode one, mode two, it's jumped to mode three, mode four, mode five. Um, if you do want to then go back, obviously, on back to the start. Uh, here you've also got your locking stitch and your scissors, which again you can create using the memory button, your sequence that adds the scissors at the end. So you can have, look, always going to end with the scissors or it's always going to end with your your locking stitch you've also then got the chance to override your default settings by changing the stitch length and stitch width these six are called cool. you've got twin needling now it won't let me do it unless it will it won't let me do a certain stitch unless it's appropriate for the foot that I've got on, the needles I've got in and the, the stitch I've chosen. You can elongate your stitch, you can flip it so you can do a mirror image. You can lock it completely out if you're changing your foot because it comes with a walking foot so you might need to unscrew that or your embroidery foot. Um, you can just simply unscrew it and put your walking foot in your embroidery foot. It's always a good idea to just lock it out so you're not uh, going to carry on sewing or anything or if you've got little hands or paws, little paws that like to get involved, you can always just lock it. In fact, let me show you. If I spin this round, Joe, just so you know. Oh, Mary said, thank you so much for bringing the machine back on with this deal. Just so you remember, this is the machine deal that we had on the weekend. It's the best 680 deal I think we've offered with savings over 90 pounds on this today. So there's a button at the back. It's really, really easy. I'll do that again for Joe in a second. So it's really, really easy to change your feet. It comes with a huge array of feet, which I think Joe actually has the, um, but you simply just press that, change your foot. The only reason that you would need to unscrew it is if you were putting on your walking foot or if you're putting on your free motion um, embroidery foot. It also comes with a high performance straight stitch, um, a straight stitch plate. So if you are just doing straight stitching, it's good to put that on and it will stop it from chewing. Just as, as we're here, it also has this, which is your, um, your needle. Have I got it this side? There you go. So it's also got your needle threader as well. Also got your needle threader. Really nice, quick and easy um, threading system. Have a look at this. Now, this is just telling you the standard accessories, I believe. Oh, no, this is the... Uh, this is the features. Uh, so 170 stitches, including 10 buttonholes. But then remember, if you change some of those stitches where we're, by um, elongating the, the stitches you can do with uh, maybe a satin stitch, you create even more stitches. Uh, it's got your built-in superior needle threader, as I've just shown you, that lovely large sewing space, which is very well lit as well, which I 
find fantastic. Uh, it sews up to a thousand stitches a minute. It's quick, but it isn't, it isn't uh, loud. So even though, yes, you could do some real great speed chain piecing with this, or slow it down to however much you want. It's not loud. We, when we're looking at a flagship machine that we want to bring on air and sew with every day uh, with guest designers, we don't want to have to be shouting over the top of it. It's not going to be bouncing across your, uh, your table. I know a lot of people that use this machine because they've got family or you know they live with different people that are getting on with different things. They sew at night maybe and they love this machine because it's quite a, a lot quieter. It's your downtime, isn't it? Um, can we carry on with that? Sorry, that, that same one because I did sort of digress then, didn't I? Um, it's quite easy to do with this machine. There's so much to talk about. Your free arm, your automatic uh, programmable thread cutter. You also do get your pressure foot uh, pressure adjustment. Uh, you have a guided needle, a bobbin threader, which is top loading. You can see when it's running out. Oh, in fact, actually, it's got a sensor to tell you when it's running out. How cool is that? You then got an extra wide extension table and 10, e uh, 10 unit kit easy bobbins. Now, the standard accessories that come with this machine before all the freebies that you get today Today are as follows. You've got your standard A foot, your rolled hem foot, your zipper foot, your satin stitch foot, your open toe satin stitch foot, your blind hem foot. Oh, that's good actually that you've got two different satin stitch feet because if you're doing a plique around some quite intricate pieces, it's nice to know that you've got an open toe that you can see what you're doing. Blind hem foot, overlock foot, quarter of an inch seam foot, darning foot. Now, convertible free motion quilting kit. Not only do you get your free motion foot, you've got an open toe, a closed toe, a clear view toe, an even feed foot. There's so much that you, sorry, the, uh, the, the even feed foot is different to the other one, but your even feed foot as well. Uh, your automatic buttonhole foot with stabilizing plate, your button sewing foot, so you can sew on your buttons as well. Your circular pivoting pin, so you can do some great circular quilting quilting bar, quilting gar, uh, guide bar for even feed foot. So how good is this? There's loads. You straight stitch needle plate, you get extra five bobbins, and then you get all of those accessories as well, like spool pins, spool cap, screwdriver, uh, stylus, and knee lift, extra wide extension table. You do get a foot controller. You get a semi-hard cover, all as standard. And then for only, I think, three more. I think only three more people can take advantage of this now. Creative Grid Ruler, Millwood Ruler Rack, your pen, your panels, and your fat quarters, all coming for free. Oh, and your um, wadding, don't forget your wadding, all for free. It also comes with an extended money back guarantee. So, um, oh, actually, I should really check that, but, We'll speak to Paul, uh, speak to our customer service team and find out. Uh, it would definitely come with a two year warranty. I'll see if it's extended, but um, yeah, speak to the team about that. Uh, it is through Elna, which is a fantastic reputable brand. There's so many industry experts that I know work with this machine. This is what I think I love about it is that me as a um, uh, sort of novice in the world of sewing, I love that I can have a go at everything and get that professional finish, the professional finish that, you want. I mean, when you're starting out sewing, whether you're intermediate or whether you're in advance, when you're achieving projects that you can be really proud of, it makes such a difference, doesn't it? And with this machine, I think you achieve that from, uh, from just all of the different details that it has and, and how beautifully it does even just your immaculate straight stitch without skipping stitches or chewing up your fabrics. Uh, but also what I love about it is that I know industry experts that sew every single day for a living and they use this machine. If you are like me and maybe you've only ever had a, a, a non-computerized machine, maybe you've had one with the dial where there's five stitches, or maybe you've borrowed a machine and you're thinking, right, I know I want to do this. I'm sewing every, I've been sewing every day during lockdown, or uh, I know that I'm going to be sewing each week. I need to upgrade my machine. Even if, now this is my personal opinion. This isn't anything to do with Hannah or Joe or Sewing Street. If you were to come to me and ask me, I've seen lots of sewing machines that we've got and we're very, very lucky that we get to work with some big brands and have lots of demonstrations and it depends on what part of your sewing journey you're on and what brand you like because they diff offer different things. If you were to come to me and say, Vic, I've got £2,000 to spend on the machine, I would still say, keep your extra £900 and buy this one. Get some goodies with it because 
personally, for me, this is the one that I think is bang for your buck. You've got so much on this machine that I don't think you're going to outgrow it anytime soon. Let's put it that way. Have a think about it though. I understand it's a little considered purchase, but um, it, whether you are you know, upgrading a machine or, or whether you are, um, I don't even want to put off beginners really. Anyone who's new to sewing and you really want to you know, go for it. This machine is amazing. Absolutely amazing. 1099. Speak to the team if you want to make the most of one of those uh, final chances. There's three. There's only three machines that we can offer. In fact, Hannah's saying, I know that somebody's got it in their basket as well. It's a big decision. Maybe you need to speak to a partner or have a bit of a thing, have a bit of a research. It's exclusive to us here in the UK. We didn't need to put it with all of these bundles, but we were celebrating National Sewing Machine Day on Saturday. So we've begged and we've pleaded the management to just do five more bundles for us. Take advantage of it. I'd love to be able to tell the management, there you go, see, everyone was really happy because we had so many messages on Saturday of people missed out. Mary's already messaged in to say thanks for bringing it back. I'm so pleased you've got it, Mary. I'm pleased you're watching. Great believer in fate, you know. If this was your dream machine and you thought you missed out, you don't really get a second chance on a machine deal like that very often, do you? Okay, so the reason... The reason that um, this one sold out on Saturday, this whole bundle sold out on Saturday, was because of this. This was the problem. This was the uh, the problem child, wasn't it, of the uh, uh, of the the family? This was the only chance of being able to to get it was on, on Saturday. We've managed to get more. That's the reason we've put together five. So, if you do want this lovely quality ruler rack, if we're starting to build up our creative grid ruler collection, maybe it is fantastic to be able to slot loads of rulers in here. It's really important that you, you do store your rulers flat and look after them. If you if you do look after your ruler uh, your rulers, they will stand the test of time. They'll look after you. £11.99, it's a lovely quality one. It's got little um, padded feet as well, so it's not going to plonk down on your surface and damage it. It's a big size as well. In fact, do you remember, Hannah, when I went rogue, I very, very rarely do a Debbie Shaw. I know that uh, Debbie Shaw often likes to go rogue. Um, I don't do it very often, but I did with this one because we had the four slot and it was half the size. So I thought the five slot and double the size was gonna be double the price and it wasn't, it was a pound less. So if you do want to get that larger size, this is brilliant. It is millwood. it's beautiful quality, beach, made from beech wood, it's lovely and weighty and it's going to, um, Look after your rulers. £11.99. Back in stock if you want to make the most of it. Something else that's just become back in stock is probably one of our most um, requested, ro requested rotary cutters. It was my first rotary... Well, it is my rotary cutter. My first is my, my rotary cutter. The reason that I love this is because, one, I know that I can work very, very safely with it. Um, I think... Uh, the, the jeepers were probably put into me right in my very first quilting class when um, I've told you this so many times. I was so scared to tell them I was a left hander that I was just like, right, I've just got to concentrate on cutting because I was being told by my quilting teacher um, that my patchwork teacher, she was saying, rotary cutters are, of course, very, 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 very sharp. She was talking through all the safety of it and I thought, I'm not going to tell her I'm a left hander now because she's going to have to set up another one for me. Um, so I like to cut with my right hand. But this is ambidextrous. You can actually use, uh, turn the the the, uh, the blade over to onto the other side and use it if you're a left hander as well. It's £19.99, but the reason that I absolutely love it is because I feel ever so safe when I'm using it. I know that this button here is going to mean that it's completely locked. So right now it's not locked. If I squeeze it, it's engaged. Uh, it's your 45 millimeter blade, which is the one to sort of to, to, to do a standard. But as soon as I click, that uh, red button, it's now completely safe, locked away. It's just 19.99. Do make sure you're, you're using a nice sharp rotary cutter when you're cutting into your lovely new designer fabrics. Maybe you're making your Liberty kit. Do make sure your rotary cutter is nice and sharp. It's so like we do with our sewing machines, make sure you have a nice fresh needle. You don't need to constantly replace them. Maintenance is important though. You can buy um, one of the, the rotary cutting uh, sharpening blades. You can buy replacement blades, but um, do give it a sharpen. You don't need to buy them each time. They will last, um, but it's nice when you've got a new project, maybe a Liberty or Alison Glass or Moda. Nice to be able to give it a lovely fresh cut. 
Dressmakers as well, I've been watching on The Great British Show and lots of people using rotary cutters. Please, 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 please use it with caution though. Just be aware, don't bring it back towards you, don't cut towards you, just always cut away. Get a rotating cutting mat if you find yourself sort of doing funny shapes with your body. $19.99. I'm always, you know, going round here, round there, doing my yoga. I saw Hannah this morning. I was like, Han, we've got a rot rotating cutting mat literally under this desk. She's like, I know, I like to just challenge myself. See what, see what yoga positions I can do before 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's a lovely soft grip as well, I must say. It's got this lovely cushioning and um, extra grip here. So you're not going to be slipping and sliding all over the place. If you're doing lots of cutting, that's going to help. Just $19.99. Back in stock. Ulfa quality rotary cutter. You'll probably see that a lot on the show. Rulers. Been talking about um, uh, creative grid rulers today. So... I've got the eight and a half by 24 and a half, which oh, I've got two of those out, I believe is this one. Right, let me put underneath, I could do with just getting Joe whilst you're there. Uh, in fact, I could use one of these macrame boards just so that you can see the different markings. Is that all right, Joe? So this is a brilliant, brilliant size because you are gonna be able to trim off your salvage. You're gonna be able to cut the whole sort of, it's, it's like the width of your fabric. Um, right, the great thing about Creative Grid Rulers is that they are made by quilters, uh, for quilters. So they really, really have thought of all of the different uh, measurements that you're going to need and how to sort of make it, how to make it easy for you to navigate around the ruler and cut precisely, but also quickly. Because I, I find cutting quite a chore, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not the best at it. But um, with the Creative Grid rulers, I've found that I actually quite enjoy cutting. So you've got all of these lovely little circles throughout the ruler, which are your non-slip grip. Now, they're not stickers. They're not sort of uh, stuck on. They're not going to come off. They're built into the ruler, which not all rulers offer. So sometimes you can buy little stickers that you put on them. I don't know whether how well you can see them. Yeah, you can see them. Uh, this one's got also a quarter of an inch round uh, the side here, so that's a good reference point. You're just wanting to check your seams, that's a quarter of an inch. So you can see you've got all of your measurements going throughout the whole of the ruler. It also has a turnaround feature, which at the bottom you can see it's in full inch increments, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then going up the ruler, again, you've got it in full inch increments. If I then spin it around, at the bottom, I've now got my half inch increment. So if you're starting to do, you know, more tricky sizes or more detailed sizes, then you know that you can just turn it around and very, very quickly, easily cut two and a half inch, three and a half inch, four and a half inch, five and a half inch, six or seven or eight, uh, well, seven and a half inch cuts. And then again, at the side of the rollers, you can do eight and a half right at the very end. Um, plus you've got your 45 degree angle. You've got your 60 degree angle there at the bottom as well in white. What I like about it is that you've got all of these angles in different colours, so depending on what fabric you've got underneath it, you're always going to be able to see it. Really handy, very well thought out. So that's the eight and a half by 24 and a half. The one that is in the bundle with the 680 is this one. Now I did say to you just a moment ago, it's extremely useful. It is extremely useful because you're going to be able to still do lots of your cutting, but for sub-cutting, ideally, actually, as well, it is going to be useful for, for doing smaller piecing. You look after these, you get more into your sort of... Um, well, you can just get really creative. The, the great thing about creative grids is that... Well, the reason they're called creative grids is because it's up to you to get creative. They come with a QR code. It's definitely worth going onto the YouTube or uh, onto the, the YouTube, their YouTube channel, I was going to say, uh, and, and they will tell you how to sort of use the different features and functions and give you lots of great ideas. This size, though, brilliant whether you're cutting your strips, whether you're cutting your half square triangles, whether you want to cut squares. Uh, I, I like the fact that you've got all of your, well, you've got really, really clear markings throughout, again, the whole of your ruler. Never se se second getting. They always say measure twice, cut once with Creative Grid. Just measure and go. You'll find that's $17.99 for a six and a half by 12 and a half inch ruler. 
I'm going through these quite quickly, just so you know. And they're really lovely, um, like an acrylic plastic, so they are going to last. They're lovely quality. The 20 by 20 square is, oh, I thought I got it, the big square. Yeah, this one. No, this is 12 by 12. Do we have a 20 by 20? If you want to trim big blocks, oh my word, Joe, this is awesome. Thank you. Look at this. It's the first time I've seen it. Maybe you're trimming for quilt backing. Do you know some of the squares that we've shown before um, when we did the backing show? Uh, I've seen quite some really cool contemporary quilts. If you got some of those 12 99 solid bundles, cut a square, cut a rectangle, you could do some really contemporary, really cool, just by using this, this one ruler, the square. Oh, I love it. You've got that really lovely, very clear diagonal line running through as well so you can square up and do fussy cutting through it's huge you still got all of your non-slip grips throughout the ruler uh, you still got the turnaround feature so your full inches on the one side turn it around for your uh, half inch increments still got all your measurements all throughout gosh that's really good isn't it i like the fact as well that they've also done these full inch and half inch through the diagonal of the ruler 49 pounds 99 Massive half square triangles would be cool, wouldn't they? Nice. So that's the biggest square ruler that we have. It is a great size. I love that. Right, we've also got the, um, maybe, <laughs> right, this one is probably your sort of, I have know lots of quilt blocks that are 12 and a half inch square like this. If you want to square up lots of your quilting blocks, then this is going to be ideal for that. What are you giggling at, Joe? So you've got your 12 and a half inch by 12 and a half inch. Once again, your diagonal line running through, all of your non-slip grips, which you can see throughout the whole of the ruler. It isn't just for squaring at blocks though. If you think about it, you can just cut your strips with this really quickly and easily again. Lots of cutting, 23 pounds 99. The next, the uh, next in size when you're talking of squares is six and a half and six and a half. Let's face it, if you're only cutting four inch squares, you don't want to get your 20 by 20 inch ruler out. If you're going to workshops or if you, you know, you don't want to be taking a huge cumbersome ruler around with you, this is probably a bit more portable, isn't it? A bit more manageable. Uh, six and a half by six and a half. Once again, with all of your um, non-slip grips. With that turnaround feature, there's my full inch. Turn around. I always think that. I always think it. I can't sing anymore because we have to pay royalties. We've been told off. I directly need to stop singing it because we're going to pay royalties. It's all right for him to sing it. Everyone's going to just keep singing it. We'll get in trouble. Fourteen ninety nine for your six and a half inch square. I'll let you do what you want to do, Joe. <laughs> that's $14.99. Um, they're all the squares that we've got available. So it's definitely worth having a look on the, uh, the website. Put them all in your ruler rack as well. You can put them all in the ruler rack and um, store them away nice and easily. Okay. Don't forget that rectangle comes apart, apart with, with this as a free bundle. So just so you know, anybody that has bought the, the 680 uh, deal, you will get all of the goodies from us and you'll get the machine from Elna. I just don't want anyone to panic when they, they get all the freebies in a parcel and like, where's my machine? Comes uh, separately from Elna. They'll send it to you with no, no extra post and packaging. Right, the Millwood. Now, this is the one that I said, it's a big mat. If you have got the sewing space to do it, absolutely get this mat. Get the biggest mat that your space allows. It's gorgeous quality. It's really quite weighty, actually. And I, I think that's amazing that it's in our postage and packaging as well. We haven't said, look, it's big and it's going to be transported to you safely. Um, 
you would think that actually the cost of your postage and packaging would be more, but no. It's amazing that you can get the sewing machine that comes from Elna, you can get all of the freebie bundles, you can take the mat and you're still only paying 3 95 delivery. So good. Um, so it is in metric and it's in imperial. It's self-healing. So if you're doing lots and lots of cuttings, just give it a wipe with a, a baby wipe or, or a sort of like lint-free, like a microfiber cloth. Uh, and that will almost reignite those self-healing properties. So it's not going to leave slashes in your in your mat. It's going to last the test of time. I know one of the, the presenters over at Jewelry Maker have bought this mat from us. It's, it's a really, really great size mat from Millwood, metric and imperial. So if you are doing your full width of fabric, maybe if you're doing, if you have got the 20 inch square, there aren't going to be really very many mats that are going to be able to fit this with all your fabric to then cut blocks of this sort of size. If you do like doing like John Con Morgan, big quilt projects, big projects, big, big blocks, then absolutely um, make the most of this. Okay, shall we do the Janome one? Yeah. That one's just come back into stock, by the way. That's just come back into stock. Um, I mentioned this earlier on, but for anybody that missed it, as it's back in stock, it's the first time I've actually got to do this. I keep getting it out, and every single time I say to Hannah, is it in stock yet? Is it in stock yet? I think what, the first time I bought it on air, it wasn't even available, but I wanted to talk about it. Hannah let me talk about it for a good five minutes, and then she says, just so you know, actually it hasn't been booked in yet. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just bring it back next week. So, first time I've got to see it. And what I love about it is the colours. It's so cool, isn't it? Really trendy. And look, if I'm being brutally honest with you, if I had the dedicated sewing space, yes, I would get the Millwood. I don't. I'd get this one for me. Um, my, my dining table isn't very big e either. It's like one of the round kitchen tables. I don't know whether this would probably even fit on it but this is fantastic because I can fit my big stripology even the extra large one I can fit on here I can do all of my cutting without having to move my mat um I've got an A4 mat at home and it's just you lose your precision if you're getting to the end of a cut and you're like ah I'm going off the uh the, the cutting mat and I can't go into my work surface on my kitchen because I'll get very told off and I'm gonna okay I'm just gonna just gonna shimmy this under like this, I've lost my precision and you, you lose your sort of flow when you're cutting. So absolutely worth getting the biggest mat that your space will allow. This was fantastic. Store it flat, double sided from Janome. And it's just such a cool color. We love it. £21.99, A2 size. It's 18 by 24 inches. Centimeters on there as well. Plus all of you lovely, very clear angles. If you want to do some diamonds and hexes and all sorts. Just £21.99. Okay, uh, also, back in stock. This is a back in stock show, isn't it? Now, I don't have, I don't have 50, um, because I think I can already see there's two. I look around and I can see Wonder Clips used for lots of things. We use them for lots. So you will get a new fresh pack that will have 50 in, but you will also, probably like us, discover that they are very, 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 very useful. Um, so, uh, yes. Primarily, these are fantastic. Oh, if you're quilting, I know that John Cole Morgan loves these for his binding. Now, right, in the words of John, this is, John was telling me, he said, look, Vic, I've done it before where I've bought non-branded Wonder Clips and they, they fall apart, they don't last as long, they're not as good, they don't open as wide. Um, and these are the ones that he said, Go for it. Spend that bit more and they will last you. Um, they're 28 99 but these are the branded Wonder Clips. And that's why we choose to bring them. If we, if, if we thought, do you know what, you can get away with using the cheap ones, then we'd have bought them on the show. But we do think that actual, actually that you do get with the, sorry, the, the Clover Wonder Clips, the branded Clover Wonder Clips, you do actually get fantastic um, value. Whether you're doing binding, if you're doing bag making, or I'm thinking, you know, if you're working with a PU, or delicate fabrics that you don't want to pin. This is handy. One, it's so much quicker than pinning. Soft toy making, things for children. You might not want to use pin just in case. You do have to count them in and count them out. So this is really handy. And you can see them. Look at how bright they are. Lovely and colourful. They've got this flat surface. So if you are doing binding, they will sit really lovely and flush against your table, your surface. And then you can clip them in place and just take them out as you're sewing. Um, 
also I'm thinking for getting yourself a bit organized if you were uh, uh, doing fabric you're cutting all of your 300 triangles half square triangles and 200 squares get yourself all nice and organized with your cutting first before you start sewing put them into piles whenever we see guest designers come in they've often got post-it notes with with uh wonder clips clipping them together I've even seen somebody using this for their toothpaste rolling the toothpaste down and putting a wonder clip on they are very very useful I know Kerry always talks about labeling things and just getting yourself a bit organized before you start sewing or make it a lot more sort of enjoyable Kerry uses these a lot. They are very, very useful. £28.99 and you will get 50 in the pack. They're, they will last the test time and they come in a nice little storage box as well. Whoop, back in stock today. Back in stock. We might need some more. I'm gonna lose more. Um, also back in stock, the lamp. I'm not going to take it out of the box today because I've got a feeling it could sell out again. We've had it on air once before and it's sold out completely. Was this again for John's birthday? No. It was a show with Debbie. It was a show with Debbie. Uh, we've been talking about hand sewing a lot during lockdown. Uh, this is the only rechargeable option when you're talking about a light. So if you've got a mobile home or a caravan or if you live in an older house that doesn't have as many sockets, there's never enough sockets, is there? Um, then this is absolutely ideal for that. Or if you want to, you know, take it on the move into the middle of a room that's, it can be plugged into a maze, but it's also great that it is rechargeable. It's the only rechargeable lamp. And what I love about it is that it does give you that pure, beautiful daylight. It also has a magnifying glass on it. It also has a time to magnifying glass. It's an LED bulb, which means, one, it will last longer. It will last the test of time. You don't need to keep putting new batteries in. It means it's low heat. Uh, it's not going to get hot. It also gives you that natural daylight effect. Um, so you do have the choice of, of, of different lighting as well. You can touch the sensitive light controls to adjust the colour spectrum and the brightness to suit any time of day. So if you are sewing of an evening, um, maybe on your lap. I like the fact that you can actually really sort of pull on, it's fully adjustable on the neck of the light. So you can move that right over. I'm thinking this is gonna be useful for all sorts of crafts or reading even. To have it as a bedside lamp when you're reading, I think is really nice. That's gorgeous. And it's got, um, yeah, your three adjustable uh, light settings, different color spectrum. Your adjustable thing, it's got like a peg on the bottom. So if you want to put it onto a desk like we've got here, you can actually peg it onto uh, a tray or if you're doing crafts on your knee, if you've got one of those tray tables, you can clip it onto there and just manipulate it, put it where you want. So, I mean, it is fantastic whether you're working on the floor, whether you're working on a desk or on a table. White as well. It's going to go with every room, isn't it? Sometimes I've seen sometimes I've seen ones that are quite bright colours, which I love, but not to everybody's taste. Just seventy three ninety nine, you can't go wrong, can you? Uh, it comes again with that one P and P. Try it out, see it for yourself. No extra posted. It's it's pretty heavy. It is pretty big. Just seventy three pounds and ninety nine pence. It does come with that clip. Can you see? So you can have it as a floor lamp. You can have it as a table lamp, lamp or you can clip it to a desk. Have it as a desk lamp. Or I suppose that's floor, de uh, desk, table, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wherever, wherever you order you want. <laughs> Could be table, floor, clip, desk. Um, but anyway, oh, I digress. Sorry. Um, you want your times two magnifying glass. <laughs> Energy saving, three colour. Oh, I think we've lost the pot. I don't know if we ever had it, do you? Oh, it's a good job it's 10 to. <laughs> What's going to happen when we go to four hours? Very soon. Well, it's always been the plan, isn't it? That we want to be on air until one o'clock. So it's, when we can, we want to, fingers crossed, soon enough, we will be on air soon. Longer. Uh, let's do the design roll and the other fill. Um, so the design roll. Right, yours won't look like this. Yours will look like... Oh, put it back in the box so we didn't lose it. Let's open it up anyway. This is the fun part, isn't it? 
opening more of them. Um, you could even do, you know, like we saw earlier on when we made those trees. These are two and a half inch strips that are already cut. There's loads of designs that call for two and a half inch strips. It is your beautiful design roll from Tula Pink. Um, this is the homemade collection, just so you know. If you go onto Instagram or Pinterest, which we did on the show uh, last week, was it Saturday or was it, it was before then actually. Um, but we went through and had a look at some inspiration on Pinterest. There's so much inspiration, especially using this range of fussy cutting. You saw Hannah actually fussy cutting, fussy cutting some of the, um, where are the hearts? There's a lovely fabric, oh, this one. You got some great fussy cutting opportunities. Hannah was uh, actually just focusing on the hand with the heart there. It's absolutely gorgeous with your thimbles as well. You've got your tape measure. You've got your quilting ruler. Great details and lovely little notions, especially for us sewers. It's nice to be able to have all these amazing bright colours, gorgeous quality fabric. These are all actually Tula Pink's, her very own tools. So that's her own rotary cutter and her own pair of scissors. Bearing in mind, you're getting 40 strips in here. I think that's fantastic value for money. And it's a really good way of just having a bit of a taster of, of lots of... Um, lots of tilde design fa designer fabric to be able to get it would cost a lot of money to, to get half a meter of each wouldn't it what are you saying joe £34.99 this is joe's favorite of all of the pre-cuts um so we've had the charm packs we've had the layer cakes but this is joe's favorite i think because you've got that full width of fabric it's going to go a long way isn't it um that's in half look so every single one of these, you're going to have lots of gorgeous motifs to sort of pick out the EPPers. Oh, I mean, look at that. That is just a stash, isn't it? Loads of fantastic fabrics. And there's always hidden details with Tula. Look at the eyes and the scissors. Always watching. £34.99 for 40 of your lovely two and a half inch laser cut strips. I'm just going to put this away really neatly. Sorry. Where's my bag? Got it. Um, what else do I need to tell you about? Oh, the bag, the bag, the bag's back in stock as well. Let's do the Aurofills. Let's do the Aurofills quickly and then I will show you the bag. Um, so, the Sunrise Tula. Just very, very quickly because I've got a stock update on this. We've got less than 50. Sounds a lot. It's not. Oh! 15! Yeah, I said 50. No, no, we have a serious stock update. 15! That's it left. Oh my word, make the most of that. 66 99 Sunrise Aurifil. They are beautiful. You get 20 of your 50 weight, all 200 meters on each spool. Great colors, selected by Tula Pink. 66 99 sorry I just wanted to quickly remind you of that one I had no idea that that was quite so limited um when we had it on for John's birthday it completely sold out in the first showing I've got a feeling second showing going to sell out again if you want it make the most of that it's 66 99 and beautiful quality now something else that I know John has absolutely loved and it's been the first time where have I put it hang on let me just go and see what we've got in the back here we go I told you, I'm giving you... Debbie goes down the stairs there, does she normally? Oh. Right, so. Uh, I know that John Cole Morgan has spoken about this because he likes to keep all of his fat quarters very, very organised. He says you can stack these up, you can get, you know, loads and loads in here and pack them all ready and you can see through so you can see what you've got so you could do all your rainbow colors it also comes with the dividers that are just velcro so you can really quickly and easily do some well you could put all your half meters in there or if you do want to, to do your fat quarters then let me show you slot those in da, 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 da. and there you've got your compartments so if you've got, we've got, we, but by the way, we've used this. We've got it in our studio. I don't want to show you ours though, because we have, we haven't actually tidied very well. Surprise, surprise. Um, sorry, Kat, if you're watching, 
she'd be like, what have you done to my perfect arrangement of things? We were hunting for these and we haven't put them back um, all in their nice box. But I mean, you could pick, you could fit loads in here. These are all fat quarters, so you could stack these up. You're gonna see what you've got. You've also got the zip then, so if you're taking it to a retreat or just easy to store. Dust proof, lint proof. You could pull this out and be like, right, these are all my blues or these are all my solids in here. You look in and you know they're keeping clean in there. Oh, that's satisfying, isn't it? The picture on the front, seeing all of that rainbow. It's really nice and strong and it's great that it's also got those supportive handles. So whether you're storing it away or whether you're taking it on the move, I know that lots of us crafters, um, if you're going, if, when we're able to, if you're going away for a weekend or if you're going away for a week to a second, when we can, you know, to a, a holiday home or a little, I'm excited to just go to, down to Cornwall or something. Just want to stay in the UK this year. I'm excited to, yeah, go to a friend. But I know a lot of people who say they can't do without, they can't do without their bits and bobs sewing. Even on holiday, they'll need to be doing some hand sewing. So this is nice to be able to take along with you. You know that it's all going to be safe and dust free. You can see what you've got. Nice little fat quarter bag, £10.99. It sold out when we had it first in. I know that this is one of John Cole Morgan's top, um, top picks. £10.99, all of your fat quarters. What else does it say on here? Conve convenient folding divider, yep. Um, storage side pockets. Where are your side pockets? Maybe it means... Um... Oh, they're here. They're hidden. They're like a secret wall, look. Ooh, and ah, from the gallery. Thank you, there's your secret side pockets. Oh, it definitely, I should, I should definitely read all this more often. Uh, <laughs> I just like the bag. I just like the bag. I didn't realise that you had the side thing. Um, yeah, outstanding see-through, outstanding see-through lid. I love that it says that, outstanding see-through lid. Ideal for storing strong fibre art projects as well. Storing, um, st it's strong, ideal for storing fibre art projects. That's why I don't read it very often, because I can't. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let me um, pack this nice and flat for you. So that's good as well. You can put your half meters in here or sort of store it as you wish. Now, um, those of you that have already taken advantage of the machine offer, oh, I'm so thrilled for you. I'm a great believer in fate. And if you missed the show on Saturday, you were not supposed to have another look at this, but we have begged and we have pleaded to the management simply because the ruler rack went out of stock, which meant the whole bundle went out of stock. Um, we've rebundled it. You can get it for the last three, I believe, or it could now even be down to two. Definitely worth, if you're watching on a replay, to check availability. The 680 Plus, the amazing Elna 680 Plus comes today with free goodies, wadding, fat quarters, panels, fabric marker, creative grid, uh, all of those freebies come today with the 680 at no additional shipping charge, at no additional cost, worth over £91 of very, very uh, usable freebies, I must say as well. They're all freebies that that you're going to use. You've got beautiful fat quarters, fabrics, panels, creative grid ruler, wadding, but it is the machine that is the absolute superstar. It's uh, our I would say our flagship machine, to be honest. It's one that you're going to see a lot here at Sewing Street. We love it. The 680 Plus is exclusive to us here in the UK. We've got an incredible relationship with Alna. If you are having an umming, uh, if you are umming and ahhing about it, um, I know somebody messaged in, Mary put it in a basket straight away this morning and checked out and said, I'll be, oh, I'm just so relieved that you managed to bring it back. Uh, so if you have been in that position of wanting it and it was the dream moment, the stars were aligned on Saturday, then you went to check out and it had gone, we've done it again. All of the other machine bundles today can't do, but this one we've really begged and pleaded to be able to say, look, now the Millwood ruler rack is back in stock. Can we add it in? It was my favourite. It was my pick on my birthday show and it will always be my pick if I'm honest. I love this machine and I, the reason I love it is because I know so many people that use this and absolutely adore it. Industry experts that use it and love it. So it's 1,099, have a serious think about it. Don't wait too long though, because I think there's two, potentially maybe three, but there's a lot of people who have got it in their basket. So be aware, 
it will go. Uh, right, thank you so much for your company today. It's been lovely. It's absolutely flown by. Tomorrow, you have got a show and a half at eight o'clock. Um, we've got Sewing Room Talks coming up in the first hour at nine o'clock. Uh, we've got Block of the Month. So is it normally at nine or is it normally at 10? It is normally at nine, oh, it's scheduled time. Um, yeah, if you're watching last week, I don't know what time it was just uh, last week, but we had, um, that was the that was the day that um oh hang on you missed eleven o'clock Joe oh it's a two hour special so at ten a.m. oh I, I just I, I tend to do this I normally just blame Joe for things ten a.m. is your handy quilter with pinhole quilting it's your long arm quilting woo woo uh, and then at twelve o'clock you've got today's beautiful bundles is that um the first hour. Our fabric bundles from the first hour today will be repeated tomorrow at 12. Do you remember that? It feels like a long time ago, doesn't it? Uh, so that's going to be very, very, very exciting. For the next two hours, you're going to be joined by lovely Debbie. If you missed yesterday's show, uh, then it will be repeated over the next two hours. Whatever you do, have a lovely, lovely day. Stay indoors. Don't go walking in the rain because, um, yeah, it takes ages for your shoes to dry out. I'm still... I'm, I'm still drying out from that from that run that I went on Saturday. Oh, gosh, it was awful. Um, but anyway, enjoy your day. And I will see you back after the weekend. Have a great weekend. I think it's going to be sunny. Weather forecast. It's going to be sunny, I think, at the weekend, wherever you are. Enjoy it. And uh, Debbie will see you now. John will see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock.